I mean, I grew up in L.A. I live just outside of L.A. And better that. I'd rather stick my face with a thousand Botox needles than take one drill to my face. I mean, actual drill. I would rather take a thousand Botox spikes than one brick. All at once. I mean, guys, as somebody who is on camera on a daily basis, except for today, I'm here to tell you there are no shortcuts. I don't have any crazy secrets other than this. Exercise and moisturize. Exercise and moisturize. I'll give you one more hint. Close your mouth. I'll give you another one. Push away from the table. I'll give you another one. Mix in a salad. (laughs) These are all ways to get a chiseled jawline without having one of your boys smash you in the face with a brick. Exercise, moisturize, close your mouth, push away from the table, mix in some vegetables. That is crazy. 262 million views on TikTok. What a trend. On that note, I'm helping them. I'm not hurting them. And that's what I'm talking about on the radio, man. That's not helping. For the ones who get it done, Granger is offering supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as access to product experts ready to answer your toughest questions. Call or click Granger.com or stop on by. Now we're done. My thanks to the great Jerry Kramer, Hall of Famer, good friend too, Joshua Palmer of the Chargers, the XR4TI. Hey, gang, thank you for not smashing me in the face with a brick. Smash! I think I'll go get on the Peloton instead. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. We're out. Did you know that one in four car batteries is weak and needs to be replaced? O'Reilly Auto Parts will test your battery free of charge, and if your battery does need to be replaced, their professional parts people can help you find the best superstar battery for your vehicle and budget. So make sure your vehicle is ready for the weather ahead by getting your battery tested for free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. O'Reilly Auto Parts, your professional parts people. Pro football player Travis Kelsey has pressed for time during the football season, so he does two things at once. Whether it's grilling while mowing. Two things at once! Or getting this season's updated COVID-19 shot at the same visit as his flu shot. Two things at once. You can be like Travis and ask your pharmacist about getting this season's COVID-19 shot at the same visit as your flu shot, if you're due for both, as recommended by the CDC. Learn more and schedule at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer. Ah, it's that time of year again. Football is back and the pads are popping. And off the field, it's the popcorn at Wally's 2 Kettle Corn that's popping. Whether it's a movie night or watching the big game with your team, Wally's 2 has you covered like ECU's defensive backs. They have over 50 flavors to choose from, including classics like cheddar, caramel, or my favorite, better butter. Or specialty flavors such as Chicago Style, Wintergreen Mix, and MJ's Cheesecake. Check them out on Facebook or stop by and see Wally today on Fire Tower Road across from Sam Jones Barbecue. Wally's 2 Kettle Corn. Make it a pop. Day. It's hard to forget how hot it gets around here in the summer. Remember, the hotter it is outside, the harder your AC has to work to keep it cool inside. And the more energy it uses to keep you cool, the higher your utility bill will be. Your neighbors at GUC have tips to help you reduce your energy use, such as using fans to cool you down inside and cooking outside when you can in the summer. For more tips, go to GUC.com and look for ways to save. We started off with Samuel Adams' Boston Lager. That really changed the perception of what an American beer could be. I don't think that guidepost has ever changed. To create a beer for everyone. Craft for everybody. We make it easy, right? We pick up any of our beers and they're going to be great. They're going to be delicious. Beer's original mission was to open the door for people and have everyone have a good time. That's what we're doing today at Sam Adams. We're craft for everybody and we're really proud of that mission of delivering beers that can bring as many people together as we possibly can.
UBE and PirateWare.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWare.com. Go Pirates! Here's the deal. When you combine State Farm Home and Auto Insurance, you can save an average of $889 per year. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Timothy Sawyer, and I'm ready to help you combine your home and auto and save in Greenville, North Carolina. Call 493-0002 today to get started on your personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This is Dr. Christopher McDowell from Orthopedics East and Sports Medicine Center. Our practice has been caring for athletes at ECU and the residents of Eastern North Carolina for more than 35 years. Whether it's time for your sports injury or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedics East provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care. We also offer on-site physical therapy and MRI services, as well as walk-in urgent care on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For experience and professional care, call us at 757-BONE or visit us online at orthoeast.com. Go Pirates! It's bow time. Chicken or biscuits? That's an impossible choice. How can you decide between Bojangles perfectly crispy, boldly seasoned chicken or their fluffy made from scratch buttermilk biscuits? Well, the good news is you don't have to. With a Cajun chicken fillet biscuit, you get the best of both worlds. An all white meat chicken breast marinated with a bold blend of seasonings and served up on a fluffy golden buttermilk biscuit. When it comes to real deal southern flavor, there's no reason you can't have it all. Order a Cajun chicken fillet biscuit today. It's bow time. This is Talbot Green with Integrity Home Mortgage. Are you ready and pre approved? if the home you want to purchase comes for sale today? This is a very important step when trying to purchase a home in the current market. Integrity Home Mortgage offers a wide variety of loan programs. Our team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, and Joanne Weir has over 50 years of experience and is committed to providing you with the superior customer service you deserve. To get started, call me, Talbot Green, 714-2076. Talbot Green, NMLS, 120331. For informational purposes only, Integrity Home Mortgage Corporation is equal housing lender, NMLS, 208516. This is Pirate Radio. WGHB Farmville 1250 and 92.7 FM Greenville WDLX Washington 930 and 104.1 FM Washington Can you be quiet please? Thank you Welcome to Pirate Radio Live How's everybody doing? East Carolina girls are the best in the world Booty, 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 booty everywhere Clip Hey man, good to see you brother You gotta give me a sack Chandler Give me a sack Sack! Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> How about those friggin' pirates? It's a me, a man, it's a Garcia. <laughs> Puedes pintar este violeta. Y'all are intimidating guys. You know what I'm saying y'all are famous. Y'all are celebrity type guys, and that's intimidating. Now live from the Pirate Radio Studios in the heart of the Pirate Nation. Here is your host, Clip Brock. All right, welcome in to a Thursday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Clip Brock here in the Pirate Radio Studios, coming to you on Pirate Radio 92.7 FM in Greenville, 104.1. In Washington, you can find us on 1250, 930, online, pr927fm.com. And we'd love for you to be a part of the show. You can join us on YouTube and Facebook Live with your questions, comments, concerns on this Thursday. we got a lot to get to, a lot of guests to get to, including coming up in about 25 minutes or so. We'll talk to Kyle Robinson, Aces for Autism, Tim Tebow. Uh, coming here to Greenville once again, and we'll talk to Kyle Robinson about that as he will join us in the Pirate Radio studios coming up in hour number one. Hour two, around four o'clock, we'll put on the hazmat suits and go inside the Facebook comments because people cannot handle a losing football team breaking out new uniforms. People have lost their minds. So uh, we'll go inside the Facebook comments, have some fun with that, and uh, we'll do that around four o'clock. Billy Weaver. I'll tell him to not talk too much, but we will interview Billy Weaver coming up at 425. Maybe I'll ask him a question and see if he can answer it in 10 words or less uh, when he joins us on the show. Coming up in hour number two, we'll check in with Weave. Jeff Nadeau, the big man on campus, will join us at 5 o'clock. We'll look at Thursday night football, game night for my commanders, 
as they take on the Bears. And I believe the Bears have lost 14 games in a row, and I'm still terrified of this game tonight going on in Washington. So we'll talk about that. We'll uh, look at a big slate of college football games, all that with the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau. And we have a ton of audio from Wednesday to hit Mike Houston, Donnie Kirkpatrick, and Blake Harrell. We'll have that for you coming up throughout today's program as well. Shirley Rhodes is here, the big dog Glenn Griffin. Uh, intern Delaney just beginning today. It's a great sports name, Delaney Walker. I think there was a yes, Malcolm Delaney, a basketball player. Great sports Sounds name. Awesome. And to my left, ECU Hall of Famer Marcus Crandall inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Marcus, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. You I'm are the day. forever the athlete, fresh off the golf course, right? Yeah, fresh off the golf course. How'd it go? I don't know if I was golfing. <laughs> you were out there, though? <laughs> I was definitely out there. Participating? I was participating. So who was your was group? Definitely. Had uh, Chan Man, our teammate here at Pirate Radio. Uh, give me a scouting report and, on his uh, golf Jason game. Nichols. Okay, yeah, I want a scouting yeah. reports on everybody. How did then, Chan Man look? And then Frank Lee. Oh, Frank, Appliance yep. Superstore, yeah. Yes, indeed. How did Chan Man look? Chan Man looked awesome, man. He, uh, Chan Man can hit that golf ball, I can tell you that now. He can hit it he long ways. It. Now, we, we both know that we don't know where the ball is going to go sometimes, but um, that, that's the game of golf when you don't practice because I didn't hit it good either. Uh-oh. How about Jay Nick? How was he? Uh, Jason, we, we all had our struggles, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we, we all had our struggles. Chandler, give me we some had, positives. We had a great day out there, man. It was a great day you for golfing. had a golfing. fun time. And it was a fun time, man, absolutely. And for a good cause. That's the most important thing. Here's Swinging one th- dingers? Here's one thing that Marcus is not mentioning. Uh-oh. Unless I missed it. On the last hole, Uh-oh. <laughs> he was the last putter. Sank a 48-foot putt. A 48-foot putt. Now, how do you know it was 48 Cool. Feet? Neat story. Because we can just look at it. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. Actually, Frank had the um, he had the he has the app on his phone. That okay, now that's a that. good answer. We can just look at it. It's not a very good answer. But forty eight foot yeah. bomb from the Cran man, and he knew it was to go to what quadruple bogey on the hole. No, that was um, that was for Bird. For Bird. That was for Bird. Well, well, okay. Well, y'all act like we, we, Marcus. It was, it was we shot. Bird. Marcus is way too modest, Chandler. Tell me what we what shot sixty six. <laughs> Six under. That's great. What are yeah. you talking about, Marcus? It sounds hey, like... man, we had a good time. <laughs> All right. We had a great time. Yeah. And we shot six under. All right. How, who's the best putter out of the group? I mean, Marcus drilled that one. Who, how about throughout the day? Uh, the overall best golfer out there was definitely Frank Lee of the Pines yeah, Super Store. He, he could play some golf. But I feel like we all hit some good putts today. I feel like we all had a, uh, a pretty huge momentum putt out of all the four very the good team. very good i like did y'all wear uniforms too no i, I like the rider we, we cup didn't wear here. uniform but <laughs> yeah, absolutely that's good They're like a team yes sir yeah i like it all right good stuff chan you got stuff to do or you want to hang out or what do you no i hang out all right kyle robinson's coming in about 20 minutes you can split okay and then come back okay that's fine we'll just kick you out and bring you back in Tim red, Tebow red back, seven red seven yeah we're well, calling an audible here <laughs> yeah. call the play all right thanks for adjusting by the way <clears throat> absolutely Marcus. Yeah. you got it man uh steve says the pirate radio uh game day crew will be losing money this saturday they have to buy their own food he's starting a gofundme appreciate that steve uh, we will not be here for the Bud Light pregame tailgate and U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show uh, because the Pirates are off. We will be with you a week from today. And is that a 7.30 kickoff, gentlemen? I will look it up real off. quick. Thank you, Coach Ruff. I will uh, look that up real quick. I think we will be with you 3.30 next Thursday on the Bud Light pregame tailgate. It is indeed a 7.30 start. So we'll be with you 3.30 next Thursday and then after the game on the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show. On ESPN. On the mothership. ESPN. Primetime. The worldwide leader in sports. And we're going to be showing off those awesome black uniforms. So, Chandler, I do need you here at 4 o'clock because we're going to go in the Facebook comments. I told you last night at Sports This is your idea, and I am all for it. And that's just because I looked on Facebook, and we had not even posted it for 20 minutes. And there was already five comments just on Facebook about, as you would imagine, why are we worried about uniforms, this and that. People cannot understand that... 
you, you can break out a new uniform without being that 100 percent your focus glad That's you are worried about the uniforms and not winning so yeah. we'll put on the hazmat suits and we'll dive into the comment section all right uh, we'll do that coming up in hour number two uh, i do want to point out a few things going on with ecu athletics so no football this weekend but you have soccer tonight we talked to gary higgins last friday on the show and uh, his team is playing great they play temple tonight seven o'clock and surely the first how many fans get a what tonight what's the uh the promotion it's um it's their annual pink game of course uh october is breast cancer uh breast cancer awareness month steven tyler's favorite color and uh oh yes and uh so the first 150 fans that come out to johnson stadium get a free pink ecu shirt nice uh if you're on our social media you can check it out. Uh, they, we've got a picture of the shirt up on our social media on PR927FM. Excellent. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Uh, volleyball, Friday and Sunday. Friday at 6, Sunday at noon. And if you want a little fall ball, uh, you can go out to the baseball field. Scrimmages for East Carolina, Friday at 410, Saturday at 145, Sunday at 105. So uh, there is some East Carolina athletics going on this weekend without uh, football. Football will be back coming up on Thursday, and uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Jerry says hello to the Pirate Radio family. Thanks to Pike, Jamie, for hitting the thumb. Appreciate you guys. Everybody give us a like, a subscribe. Uh, let's see. And we've got some golf comment. Chan Man is like his golf game. Not sure where he's going to go. Uh, you've done better than Who that, Jamie. That, that was Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Pick it up. That was a very Eric kind of joke. Jerry loves the black uniforms. Uh, have you seen the unis, Marcus? No, I haven't seen the unis. Actually. Oh, good. We, we're going to get your first taste of the uh, the new black uniforms. That, that, will be breaking out. Thursday. that will be breaking out Thursday night. Here's a spoiler. They're sick. That, I mean, okay. they're fire. Call the doctor, Chandler, because they're sick. They're sick. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find the. How about Ooh. that? Yeah. So Ooh. they look kind of like the oh, modern man. throwbacks oh. with the stripes. Oh, man. Yeah. What do you think? Makes me want to go and suit up. <laughs> <laughs> so I've talked and, to and players. Everybody says no. From the Skip era, and, and we'll go previous to that with the Logan era. You guys had a set of purple and a set of white, and that was about it, right? That, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was all she wrote. We were not worrying about the uniform, <laughs> what color and yeah. combination and all that good stuff. But that, if that uh, was that, an option, you would have thrown that, that on? Man, that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. I wish we had them. Very good look. Uh, I like it, and uh, that is available. We uh, reposted that from the ECU football twitter account so uh they'll look good will they feel good and play good that remains to be seen but marcus you were with us late night early morning on the u.s sailor fifth quarter call-in show and i um, want to get to some of these cuts but a lot of talk about just an overlook overall look at, at what your program's doing right now uh fine-tuning things that didn't sound like and they're not going to come out and say it, but it didn't sound like yesterday when you hear the coaches talking that they're going to do major overhaul changes with what they're doing. It's more trying to find out, see the things, and maybe there's not a lot, but things they've done well, and see how they can do more of that on the football field. The the bye week is is a perfect time for us to do that, or any team to do that. Uh, spe- uh, I guess specifically talking about when you're one and four, right? And so when you're one and four, you got to go in, dig deep into the uh, to the film studies and all those things as far as um, you know the the little things that uh, you did well offensively. I guess pretty much that's what everybody's talking about. Um, and then and and I think. Um, from a overall standpoint, I think um, some coaches do it differently, but it's a great time to kind of get some mini scrimmages in because uh, you got to keep the guys in, in, in involved in all those things and uh, keep their spirit levels up um, and get you know getting ready for the next week. So uh, some little miniature scrimmages kind of deals to where they're competing against each other. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing, but uh, that those are some things that you can do, especially when the morale is where it is, where it is right now in regards to being one and four going into Thursday. No doubt. Let's hear uh, Mike Houston touch on some of those things you just talked about, Marcus. He uh, cut one, Shirley. He talked about how much, uh, was asked how much this week has been about looking at his own team compared to how much he's looking ahead to SMU. Probably 50-50, you know, maybe a little bit more focusing on us. I mean, we're introducing SMU, uh, but we've focused, you know, tremendously on uh, things that we need to do better. And, uh, you know, we've kind of broke the days up into 
um, certain situations each day. Um, so we had, you know, a lot of stuff yesterday, uh, you know, middle of the field stuff, you know, certain special teams. And then today, you know, we worked uh, a lot of third down, um, a lot of short yardage goal line, red zone stuff. Um, and then we'll, tomorrow we'll hit uh, some of our late game stuff and uh, finish up the special teams. All right, uh, let's go to cut two because this is something Marcus talked about with uh, going, you know, scrimmage wise and also getting players involved that haven't seen the field much, get them some practice mm-hmm. time uh, this week. Cut two, Sherlock. Well, that's, that's, what we've, that's what we've done at the end of practice the last two days. Um, now, you know, we've, with our, like with our competitions this week, We've gotten not just our ones and twos, we've got our third group. Uh, they've gotten reps in our, all of our competition stuff this week, which has been good. Raheem's got a lot of work this week. And then at the end of practice yesterday and today, uh, we let our, our guys that are, uh, you know, being redshirted and stuff, uh, we've let them, you know, get a little, you know, mini scrimmage, you know, 10, 15 plays each day. And, you know, everybody enjoys watching that. And it's been really exciting. I really enjoy watching the film of that because you see young guys that, you know, they aren't playing yet, and you get to see them, you know, running our defense, running our offense, and let you evaluate them, which I think that's important to do during this bye week. All right, Cut 3 talked about the self-evaluation that's going on across the board uh, with this staff and with this team this week. Well, you know, the big thing, and we talked about it on the coaches' show Monday night, was just how much time we'd spent on that last game. But, uh, you know, really we've evaluated everything. Personnel, who's, who's on the field, who's not, uh, how we're using personnel, um, you know, schematically, we've looked at things we're doing well, things we need to do better. Um, I've laid out some some specific areas for uh, all three phases that uh, I want them to have a concrete plan going to this next game of how to you know address you know deficiencies better. Um, so hopefully, all that pays off and us uh, you know playing at a much higher level. All right, Marcus um, and and Donnie Kirkpatrick was asked. Did he think there would be this many struggles this season uh, with with everything they lost on the offensive side? And he said he thought there would be some growing pains, but thought they would be further ahead than they are now. And uh, we shouldn't be one and four, right? Like you with this staff or and with these players, do you feel like we are what our record is and what it should be, or should we be ahead of where we are right now? Just just from looking what we've seen on on the field. Uh, for games, um, I don't think that we are um, a step ahead of where we should be. I think we're a little bit behind. Um, I don't think the, I don't think the leaders, uh, and this is where Coach Kirkpatrick is probably uh, referring to in regards to. I don't think the leaders are where he expected them to be, and uh, to help take us where we need to be uh, or go. And uh, we're not seeing that, and somehow we need to find a way to pull it out of those guys to, to get that leadership and get it uh, to where we're seeing it, um, you know, translate on the field as well, not just in practice. Yeah, the and and Mason Garcia is not where they thought he would be, certainly. And, and that's what I mean, right? Uh, like Mason and wh- whomever else. I'm not just calling out the QB, but it could be. Oh, I know. It, it's, but... it's a lot of people that, um, you know, just across the board that – he probably felt that um, they took a, a major step forward, and in, in, uh, you know, before the season started, and then um, seeing everything on film, and I'm sure they diagnosed and um, you know dissected uh, everything as far as uh, you know where the offense has gone wrong, uh, mistakes being made on the field, uh, all those things. They kind of look deeply into those things and see where it kind of um, you know uh, started from, and, and uh, kind of get things going in the right direction from there, right? I think going into the year, we thought 0-3 is a possibility. I thought, uh, hey, you come out of that 1-2, and you got some winnable games coming up. But uh, I don't think a lot of people had 1-4 and at this point. I had maybe a – I did have them 1-2, and but if 0-3, and I had them at least at 2-3 and after that. So we, I, we are behind. That is the reason everybody is upset right now uh, because this team is not meeting expectations. That's right, and we got We got to find a way. We got to. The attitude um, has definitely. Uh, I think it has to change. Um, I think we have to expect to win. It's like hitting that putt, Chandler. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's right. Did you expect he, he, to make that putt, man? I, when it was halfway I'll, to the hole, he said, I'll, "It's going in." <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'll go deeper than that. I, I said, "This is going to go in." When I was walking up to the putt, there you go. But, yeah. it, but anyway, I, I looked at it, I saw it, and I visualized. I visualized that putt going in, man. And I think we definitely have to, uh, you know, do more of those types of things, uh, be positive, 
and uh, just see yourself being successful out there on the field, man. As an athlete, uh, you have there. There's a lot to being successful on the field, and uh, you know, going through those mechanics day after day, I think helps out a lot for sure. Guys, uh, Marcus Crandall ain't walking through that door. We still have people every week when you come on asking about your eligibility. <laughs> Could you go out there and play? Um, no. Uh, Jerry is asking, were you robbed of a year of eligibility? I really was, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, like, you could probably go to the courts no. and get that back yeah. if you could physically do it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus a COVID year, uh, we could probably some... get you two years, Mark. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be a storyline yeah, in college are, football. Great jokes. <laughs> you could be like yeah, JT, Daniels, <laughs> JT Daniels last week, <laughs> slinging it around on one leg, <laughs> limping around. Oh, man. Uh, but, no, you, you got what you got at this point. Uh, Jamie did ask, how did you celebrate the putt? Because, again, you are a very humble guy. Did you do hey. a tiger? Did you? Oh, you ran off. A little bit, you had a little jog off, jog off to the to the fellas. We, okay. all, we all celebrated as one, like everybody at the punt. <laughs> <laughs> everybody <laughs> eats when Marcus That's right. eats. That's right. uh, Marcus Crandall joining us here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. I asked about a specific play uh, to Donnie Kirkpatrick last week about the quarterback sneak, and he was also asked about the screen pass that turned into an interception, and uh, Donnie put the blame on him on both of those uh let's hear uh, what happened on the quarterback sneak this is donnie four surely yeah. donnie cut four quarterback sneak what happened i had two cut fives and well um, <laughs> hold on give me one second this was his answer he had no response <laughs> <laughs> no, I, got, I, got, I messed I it up. Response. I thought I had loaded up. Uh, cut four, cut four, cut four. I think Coach Houston has a response we as well. All right, we got it. Well, first of all, shouldn't have called the play. I, I, you know, that's one kept me awake right there. You, you always have three or four things. You go, man, I wished I had a time machine, you know, or something. I'd go back and change that one. I definitely would have changed that one. Uh, you know, I don't know that Alex was the right guy to do that with. But what happened because there's always a reason, was he dropped a snap. Now, was the snap bad? I don't know. We, we, you, you analyze it, but at that point, you don't, it's not about putting blame on one individual. We're all a group. Uh, you know, you're on the one-foot yard line, I guess, if that's a saying or whatever. We were close. Uh, so it's a go-for situation. It's a go-for situation. I don't think there was any doubt about that. The analytics were saying that. Coach makes the right decision on that. I mean, they're going to get the ball in the one-inch line, you know what I'm saying, which did not work out. Just because you make the right call doesn't always mean it works out. But, uh, you know, they crowded the ball. They were all sides. The guy pushed him into it. I don't know if he hit the center. The center kind of says that he hit the ball, so the ball didn't get to him. And, you know, we'd been two for two on the sneak. But maybe not on the goal line. I wish I wouldn't have called that. I wish I had time to call something else. But you got to make a quick decision. We were so close, you know, to it. And, you know, that that's that game. That game is we settled for three field goals. One of those we dropped the ball in the end zone. Perfect throw. And then we didn't score there. But, you know, we, we've emphasized some goal line stuff this week. Today we did a lot more goal line than we ever do. Uh, coach, you know, had a lot to do with that. He kind of emphasized that. And, I learned a long time ago, you followed your last direct order. Uh, and so we worked a lot of goal line. But you know what? We're four for five inside the on the goal line. Inside the five-yard line, we had scored every time up until then. And really, you know, you're not on the goal line that much in today's football anymore. But uh, we have been a little bit more than usual. We, we've had five times now we've been on the three-yard line or inside. We've scored four. But that one we didn't score was, was a big one because we left 11 points out there that would have been just – Ooh, just easy. You wouldn't have to do anything special. Get it in from the foot yard line, catch the ball, and the kid's got great hands. That's why he was the guy we threw it to because he's got the best hands on the team. So that's a long answer for that, I know, but you knew me. There's Donnie Kirkpatrick on that call, Marcus, and just kind of looked blown up from the start. Had a bobbled snap. Um, Flynn looked like he was kind of stuck in the mud trying to handle that snap and uh, might have been some offsides. Either way, Donnie says uh, wasn't the right call. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you get Mason in for that play. Maybe yeah. Just... I wouldn't say it was the it was the wrong call. 
Um, I would definitely say um, personnel is, is yeah. probably more important in that situation than the call um, because you get a more, um, what we feel is more athletic and, you know, the uh, get, just gives him an opportunity. Mason, I'm talking about Garcia, gives him an opportunity to, to get involved into the game. Um, and, and he mentioned a, a great point in regards to, you know, there, there, there's not a lot of plays on the one-yard line these days. And, um, and so this, this, this is what I'm talking about in regards to the players. They really have to take it upon themselves and, and build up that attitude and that uh, that confidence in themselves that, hey, man, we don't practice this a lot, right? It, it, we're not going to get a lot of reps of this in practice. And so game time situation, we know who's going to be in, all right? We got to take it upon ourselves like those guys that, that does the, um, what is it called? The, the brotherly shove? Is that what it's the called? The brotherly now? shove, yeah. Brotherly shove. AKA tush push. Tush push. Yep. So those, those man, you, you see it. You watch the receivers, the running backs, and everybody. They take pride in that thing, man. Yep. They take pride in it. And so they they want Jalen Hurts to get that first down. Uh, they do everything that they can to, to make sure that he gets it, right? And so we have to make sure that we're taking that same approach. Take that same approach and that same attitude and, and uh, get that one yard for and and make the coach right. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Make yeah. the coach Help right. Your coach. Maybe, maybe it wasn't a bad um, personnel. Maybe it was a bad uh, personnel decision. All right. But whoever's in, whomever's in, man, let's let's make the coach right. Let's get it done. Execute the play. You mentioned something right. there. Um, we didn't practice this a lot. That was an issue on the screen that turned into an interception. Here is Donnie's. Uh, response to what happened on that play cut five yeah that's another one i regret we had put that play in it was a throwback screen it was a what i had down for a second long call it was a first and 20 call when when i called it which that had nothing to do with it the the reason i i regret it is i don't think we practiced it enough uh we didn't execute it it was supposed to have been a slow like a delay screen and I just don't think I coached it well enough. And Javius took off. So the linebacker had him man coverage. Well, you got to block the guy that's covering the back on a screen if it's man coverage. And and Jacob Saker knew that. He he recognized the defense, smart player, and said, Coach, I knew he was in man. I was trying to block him. I couldn't catch up to the linebacker. And when we looked at the tape, then we're like, well, when you run a screen, the lineman has to get out in front. And then the back the back's taught never leave till the lineman leave. And Javius – being fast to start with, took the faith and jumped out and got in front of the lineman. So the linebacker got in an unblockable position. And, you know, you still can't throw into something. You got to see what you throw. But but that was really on me. You know, I feel bad that we didn't practice that enough. It wasn't ready. We'd, we'd had first down on the 18-yard line. We got a holding call, and it put us back. And I was kind of looking to just find some way to make a big play to get us back on schedule. And, you know, I regret that one. All right, that, Donnie's explanation on that, and maybe he's taken the blame from Javius Bond out when he and fallen on the sword here. But that, that's not a, a good look if you're going to call a play that you don't feel 100 uh, percent confident that you practiced on. And I've talked to players a lot, Marcus, about trick plays and new plays they put in during the week and some of those get left on the cutting room floor right you never get an opportunity to run them and and things like that well here's one that they put in that felt like it was a good situation and ugh, uh didn't work out the way they wanted out. it to um first and he explained all, it well i thought yeah i mean first first things first i think um as a, as a coach as a coordinator um when you don't feel good about plays, um, and I'm testifying here, when you when you don't feel good about a play, all right, you practice the week in and week out, and and the players aren't executing in practice. And I've had players come up and say, let's let's run this, let's run this, and I'm like, no, because you didn't execute it in practice. So I'm definitely not going to run it in the game. Right. And so you have to be stern in that decision. You have to be stern, and that that puts you in a better position of hey, uh, because it's a short week in regards to you know how many you know how many things you got to get accomplished, plays, uh, assignments, and all those things. So that's one thing, one less thing you have to worry about. Just throw it to the side. Keep working it uh, throughout the season and all those things until they do get it to close to perfection. They're not going to perfect it, but close to perfection. That's part one of it. Part two is what he said about Bond not really executing yep. and and doing his part. Part three, uh, Flynn QB. doesn't have to throw QB. it. QB. Uh, how yeah. many screens do you see? And boy, it's ugly when we watch it on TV where they just chunk it at the uh, running back's feet and say, "Let's play another down." 
uh and and we don't like that at the time but it's a lot better than a pick right you know what you're going to get a lot of booze in the stands <laughs> and again i'm testifying because sure. your screen doesn't look good throw oh, away wherever ugly right? play and yeah. next thing you know boo yeah. right they're, they're going to do it but hey they're not getting the ball and going the other way exactly marcus crandall joining us here inside the pirate radio studios we'll have more audio mike houston donnie kirkpatrick blake harrell let's take a break we'll come back talk to kyle robinson from aces with autism tim tebow coming uh to greenville once again we'll tell you about the big event coming up and uh talk aces for autism with kyle when we return on pirate radio live more to go after this Here for the booty. RJ? Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. We're going play game! Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. Hey y'all, this is Lisa with Halloween Express and the countdown to Halloween has officially started. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary of being Greenville's premier Halloween superstore. Halloween Express has all the Halloween fun from adults to kids. We got you covered with the largest selection of masks, decor, and more. Halloween Express is easy to find right next to Target. Come by Halloween Express today and let our friendly staff help you answer the number one Halloween question. What are you going to be? Halloween Express. Hey, Pirate Nation, I'm head men's basketball coach Mike Schwartz. And I'm Kim McNeil, head coach of your defending American Athletic Conference champion women's basketball team. Basketball season is just around the corner, and we're looking forward to another exciting season on the hardwood. We need Pirate Nation to pat Menji's Coliseum by purchasing your season tickets today. Call 1-800-DIAL-ECU or visit ecupirates.com to get yours now. Thanks, and go Pirates! Familia is your go-to spot for the best Italian dishes around, including pizzas, pastas, salads, and homemade desserts. That's Familia. Enjoy half-off wine night on Wednesdays, $3 drafts on Thursdays, or get a pizza of the week for just 12 bucks. That's Familia. Place your order online or call 689-6330, and Familia will have your order ready in their drive through window for pickup. That's Familia. Clip, really? Oh, sorry. Familia on Fire Tower Road in Winterville near Pitt Community College. This is Gina from Naughty Life in downtown Washington, inviting you to come shop our restock store. We are back from market with a great selection of everything Yeti and much more. For back to school, we have Scout lunch bags and book bags in all new patterns. We also have a great selection of t-shirts, including Old Row, Southern Fried Cotton, and Local Boy. Remember, we always provide free gift wrapping with your purchase. Shopping is always fun at Naughty Life in beautiful downtown Washington on Main Street. Saturdays are your day to kick back, relax, and have fun. That's why Atavola Market Cafe is the perfect place to go for dinner, drinks, and takeout. Atavola is open every Saturday at 4 p.m. on the bar side, serving a special selection of menu favorites of appetizers, pastas, and specialty pizzas. Whether it's dine-in, takeout, or drinks with friends, Atavola is the best choice every Saturday starting at 4 o'clock. Visit AtavolaMarket.com to see what's new, and visit Atavola on Red Banks Road every Saturday starting at 4. Atavola, Pirates support. Supporting Pirates. Are you having a hard time participating in the activities you love due to pain? Well, then you need a good stretch or perhaps a massage. At Bodies and Balance, they offer massage therapy, assisted stretching, and Graston techniques to help provide solutions. With years of experience, the team at Bodies and Balance can create a stretch or massage program that is right for you. Mention Pirate Radio to get your first free stretch and your first massage for only $1 per minute. Call 916-4530 to get on the schedule, or you can visit them online at Bodies and Balance. Pizza, subs, slice, ice. Jenny, what are you doing? Just letting the Pirate Nation know that Cuchinella's is now open in downtown Greenville, across from Subdogs. Did you know Cuchinella's is open every day with $6 lunch specials, slices all day, beer, wine, and their famous homemade gelato? Plus, if you're busy, use DoorDash for Cuchinella's delivery, and Cuchinella's is open late night, Friday and Saturday. Cuchinella's on Fifth Street in downtown Greenville. Go Pirates! This is Jacob Jenkins Cowart, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation.
You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Grab your amigos and head to Chico's for the best Mexican food and fun in Greenville. Come and enjoy favorites like shrimp tacos, steak and chicken fajitas, burritos, enchiladas, ACP, and more. Follow Chico's on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. For Mexican food and fun, it's got to be Chico's for dine-in or to-go. Whoops. Now, let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. And we're going to talk about a great event coming up and a great organization, Kyle Robinson, joining us once again in the Pirate Radio studios, Aces for Autism, also Julia Julia Davis in as well. Kyle, Julia, welcome in. Kyle, good to see you again. Uh, had you on talking basketball at times and also a lot of Aces for Autism as well, but uh, great to see y'all. And Kyle, just kind of an overview, uh, if you could tell folks that aren't familiar with it, what is Aces for Autism? Yeah, Aces for Autism um, is a nonprofit here locally in Greenville. Um, we're actually celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Um, it all started through the story of our son Samuel, who was diagnosed with autism at 18 months old. And uh, kind of through that, Greenville community rallied around my wife and Bobby at the time. We were going through our getting the diagnosis and going through uh, the initial journey. And um, we started a tennis tournament. That's how you got the name Aces for Autism. Uh, raised a little bit of money, and it kind of snowballed from there. We're now we're we're serving over fifty families uh, on a weekly basis, um, and we're uh, currently uh, have our new facility under construction in Winterville, uh, which will open up access to even more families. Uh, so we're super excited. And a huge event coming up, the 10th Annual Aces for Autism Fundraiser, and Tim Tebow uh, will be the special guest that's coming up on October 23rd. And how about uh, this event? I know y'all are really excited about this. Yeah, we're super excited to have Tim Tebow back. Uh, He came a couple years ago, and, uh, you know, you never know with a professional athlete or celebrity, you know, if they're the real deal or not. Well, I can tell you from experience, Tim Tebow's a real deal. <laughs> um, he came and uh, was just a genuinely this nice guy and uh, really uh, did a great job. And um, we're excited to have him back. Uh, he's going to auction off a jersey and he's got some other stuff that he's going to do for us at the event. Um, and he's going to give an inspirational message, whether you're impacted by autism or you're going through something else in life and just need a word word of encouragement he's gonna make you feel good and really inspire you uh, by coming and, and hearing him speak so what all uh is incorporated in this uh this fundraiser and, and how can folks be a part of it if they want to yeah um so we have um uh, uh, a live auction uh, which again uh, there'll be some vacations Tebow's jersey uh, will be auctioned off and then we have a really large silent auction uh, Julia uh, can chime in more with the items that we have but we've got a Ronald Acuna signed jersey Andrew Jones signed baseball bat uh, tons of brave stuff um you got a Braves hat on. I yeah. do. Yeah. Huge Braves fan. <laughs> Playoffs starting Saturday yeah. for Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, Richard Petty racing suit. Uh, we've oh, actually wow. got a Daytona 500 uh, racing experience where uh, two people are actually going to be able to go to practice, qualifying, be in the pits with the 41 team. I don't even know who the driver wow. is. But the 41 team, um, they're going to put them up in a hotel, transport them back and forth from the racetrack. Um, so we got a lot of neat stuff, Julia. Uh, we got some, we got some celebrity stuff too. Some guitars, don't we? Yeah, we have a Taylor Swift signed guitar and a Shania Twain signed guitar. <laughs> um, so those are going to be hot items. And then we also have a lot of items from the community, such so as like gift cards. But one of my favorites is we have an ECU baseball experience um, where a family can actually like go on the field and go to the before practice and stuff with the baseball team. Really cool. Awesome. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, so that's going on on the twenty third and. Uh, you have uh sponsorships still available too if people want to get involved that way yeah we have sponsorship information uh, right on our website aces for autism uh, thank power radio for being a sponsor um and julie you want to tell them about how how to get tickets yeah so you can still become a sponsor um you can go on our website like kyle said um and go to the events page and there are a few sponsorships up there just fill out the form and i'll get in contact with you it's not too late so you can still get your sponsorship in and we're hoping to see you there 
yeah and as far as just the general public as well uh, you know how do you get a ticket for this and, and what do you need to do we um we also have general admission tickets online um for sale and they're also on our events page on the website all right good stuff uh what are the other you said you're uh uh, building a new facility in Winterville. How about uh, tell us about that, Kyle? Yeah. So when we started the organization, um, you know, my wife and I, our vision, really what God laid on our hearts was to build a state of the art facility, second to none, on the Eastern Seaboard, and uh, that's coming to reality. It's a um, thirty-two thousand square foot building, and it'll have therapy rooms, a cafeteria where we can work with individuals with autism on diet expansion, how to eat different foods, how to sit in different types of chairs, um, stuff that we really take for granted, you know, for an individual with autism can be can be a struggle. Um, so we'll be able to do that in the cafeteria. Uh, we have learning labs. We actually have a food line grocery store in our facility, a mini grocery store that food line has upfitted. So you know, if a parent comes to us and says, hey, my kid has meltdowns in the grocery store when we go shopping, well, we're going to actually be able to work on that in our grocery store. Um, if we have an older individual with autism, we actually have the checkout line. Well, they'll actually be able to work on job training sc- skills wow. in the grocery store. We have a hair salon uh, where uh, it'll actually be license we can cut hair uh, in it um, a lot of individuals with autism uh, sensory issues uh, parents they, their kids hair gets really long or gets completely buzzed off because it's a traumatic experience for the individual but also the parent so we'll actually be able to practice that and and hope you know our hope is in those learning labs those individuals will learn what to expect our staff can go over there and 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 help the child and ultimately they're be able to go back into our community yeah. integrating our community and have a better experience so we have those two learning labs we've got a a, a dental office uh, we've got an apartment in it a bed washer and dryer bathroom really teaching independence how teaching individuals how to make a bed do laundry um uh, a pediatrician's office um, so those are kind of the you know, unique items in our building that people are really really excited about um we can't wait to share it with the community and uh, you awesome. experienced uh this and and i think it's great that you're putting the the real world you know experiences into these facilities and that's uh that's how you that, that that's a great touch uh that for is. what you guys do that that's awesome. awesome uh anything else we need to know about kyle today julia yeah uh, I, we are look, still looking for um we're, we're expecting a large crowd i've got a lot of people sign up for the event if there's somebody that wants to volunteer uh, we uh, julia is still taking volunteers that can help out the night of the event uh, just reach out to her through the website yeah. and um, we're super excited and really appreciate everybody's support and where is the event that okay. we say yeah where it is yeah it's at the greenville convention center okay. gotcha. um so there is kind of the layout for the event um some of the sponsors uh, there's a there's a dinner before the event that the sponsors can go to uh, then there's photo ops with tebow uh, with some of the sponsorships and then the actual event starts at 7 p.m awesome stuff you got anything, Marcus? if uh, someone wanted to give some items to you for yeah yeah, absolutely. Reach, reach out, reach out to Julia. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll take items. Uh, and, and the goal for our event is, you know, we have some big ticket items, but we have some small items as well. Um, and we want every, you know, anybody, whether it's five dollars or five thousand dollars, somebody if they want to give something to get something back that they can take home with them. Um, so we we take all types of stuff. We have for furniture, sure. jewelry, sports stuff experiences All right. um, awesome. food, so gift cards gift cards everything. yeah everything just go to the contact us on the website that's that'd not. be the easiest way yeah. cool. to do that. okay all right and you have that info the website and all yes that sir stuff. Yeah. so i i know a guy who knows a guy <laughs> okay. has, uh, some memorabilia and all that kind of stuff so uh we'll reach out and uh, awesome awesome that'd be great yeah, sure. that'd be awesome Absolutely. thanks so much kyle i guess are you completely out of the basketball world now <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much out of it. You know the the folks that uh you know I worked with over almost in it almost 20 years. Yeah. Um, so I, I stay in touch with them and, and follow the different teams. Um, I really really believe East Carolina basketball is going to have a great year this year. I'm 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 hoping. Well, we talked to Size Seymour yesterday. I think he's got us at least in the Elite Eight this year. Really? So, uh, <laughs> size fired up, so I'm fired up. Uh, but man, you were uh, you were with some great coaches over the years, and uh, still keep up with. Uh, 
Coach Rockefeller talking playoff baseball. He's a big Astros guy, so he's excited. Yeah, and, uh, I, I still give him a hard time. Two years ago, the Braves took him out, heck yeah. and he was at the game, so uh, I give him a hard Even time better. about that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so a uh, huge event coming up, uh, Aces for Autism, the 10th annual fundraiser. Uh, that is fantastic. You can get all the information, acesforautismnc.com, and uh, go to the events page for this big event with tim tebow uh coming to town as the special guest uh kyle julia thank you for joining us today thank you appreciate thank it you. uh we'll take a break we'll have a little bit more with marcus crandall let him get out of here on a thursday and a lot more to go on a thursday edition of pirate radio live we're back with you after this Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Parker Bird, number 16 for your ECU Pirates. I've just launched a new t-shirt on piratewear.com that represents many of my dreams. I committed to play baseball for ECU as a ninth grader in high school. I worked hard many days for the thought of seeing my name at number 16 on the back of a Pirates jersey. On July 23rd, 2022, I was in a boating accident that resulted in me losing my right lower leg. After getting out of the hospital, I am still striving to become the first division Vision one baseball player to play with a prosthetic leg. Still I Rise has become my mantra and the way I approach each and every day and how I approach my comeback. As I watched my teammates last year get the I Love You sign to the bullpen as they ran the bases falling a home run, I used this gesture on my shirt to show my love to Pirate Nation. Purchase your Still I Rise shirt today at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music. Every Monday, open mic night. Tuesday, karaoke with DJ Captain Morgan. Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday night, line dancing and music from DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. And don't forget, Sunday fun day during football season with NFL jersey giveaways and more. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date info. Y'all come get bucked up. Go Pirates! Here at Brown and Wood with Jeff Stein. Jeff, I've noticed a lot of great GMC pickup trucks on the lot. Yes, sir. We have 2500s and 1500s in stock and the all-new 3.0 Duramax diesel. We earn 30 extra trucks on allocation. So go online, brownandwood.com, or stop in, build your truck. We'll get it coming for you. Brown and Wood, voted number one by the customer in Greenville. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Christie's Europub is the perfect place to relax, grab a bite, and enjoy a drink this ECU football season. Located in the heart of Greenville and just a few blocks from ECU's campus, Christie's offers lunch, dinner, and late night with live music every Sunday. And if you like brunch, listen to this. Christie's has brunch every day, Tuesday through Sunday. For the latest information, check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or visit them online at christieseuropub.com. Scratch cooking tape. Next time. So relax and enjoy a pint at Christie's Europe Pub today. Go Pirates! Hey Pirate Nation, this is Taylor from Fleet Feet, making sure you have the best and most comfortable shoes this tailgate season. Locally owned and operated by EC alums Chris and Kendra Lunyon, Fleet Feet of Greenville provides solutions through one-on-one services to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Fleet Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoes, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Come see us at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf and Ski location. Fleet Feet, we run for you. Save a load on a new John Deere compact utility tractor and loader from Quality Equipment. It's never been easier to get the best brand on the market at an unbeatable cash price or with great financing at our lowest ever monthly payment. Now is the time to get that tractor package you've been dreaming of to get your next job done right. Stop by one of our 36 locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia or visit us online at qualityequip.com. Ah, it's that time of year again. Football is back and the pads are popping. And off the field, it's the popcorn at Wally's 2 Kettle Corn that's popping. Whether it's a movie night or watching the big game with your team, Wally's 2 has you covered like ECU's defensive backs. They have over 50 flavors to choose from, including classics like cheddar, caramel, or my favorite, better butter. Or specialty flavors such as Chicago Style, Wintergreen Mix, and MJ's Cheesecake. Check them out on Facebook or stop by and see Wally today on Fire Tower Road across from Sam Jones Barbecue. Wally's 2 Kettle Corn, make it a popping day. This is Kim McNeil, head women is basketball coach at East Carolina University and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. Well, I got a little change in my pocket. 
it's going to tell Well, I'll call you up on the telephone, baby And once again, you will ring You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. University PC Care has been Pirate Nation's go-to IT expert since 2006 and are the local tech support experts for any of your business needs. Let University PC Care uh, let University PC Care take care of it so you can take care of business. Visit universitypccare.com to learn more today. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. All righty. Back with you. Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. I might be way off here. I might be right. For some reason, uh, Georgia Satellites. You are correct, okay. sir. Now, I was unsure about it. This is a great song. It is. It is. I like it. Uh, you know what another great song is? What? Happy Birthday. And Two. We, we have to sing that to a uh, longtime Pirate Radio supporter, Chris Floyd. Yes, I was going to mention that to you during the break, that today was his birthday. And I'm sorry, Chris, I haven't texted you. I've had a busy day today. Chris uh, on YouTube said, spending yeah. my 50th with y'all on YouTube All right. today. All right, How about Chris. that? That's Let me awesome. tell you. Happy I, birthday, Chris Floyd. Happy birthday. I, I want to mention this because, you know, Chris has been a loyal listener for many, many years. But he also, he he gets home in the afternoon and uh he hangs out in his garage he's got a tv in his garage and he sits out there every day and if he even misses the show uh he goes back and he watches it on youtube so he does not go a single day if he can help it without watching the show so he's a loyal listener good friend of mine happy birthday chris i'm sorry i didn't text you earlier well we're gonna give him a song right now all right ready three two one two three four Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Chris, happy birthday to you. Bravo. Well done, well done. Good job, good job. And Marcus, in case you don't know who chris is yeah, i don't the guy in the crop top oh nice awesome <laughs> thanks chris for being he's, a uh, man he's and framing your shirt for everybody yep. he got thanks, like a chris. youth Happy what was it a youth yeah, medium it youth, medium uh, medium yeah, and uh yeah. i dared him i i still owe you money for that chris but uh i dared him to put it to make it a crop top and put it on and uh he said don't dare me to do it and he did it he did it now he'll have in his garage while he's watching pirate radio a frame marcus crandall shirt That's yep because he put it in cool. the frame awesome man uh, thank you thank you while we're showering uh marcus with compliments jay says marcus crandall was the best quarterback we ever had at throwing the ball away and not taking a sack oh did you take okay. some pride in that part of your game though? you know what? i really did i really did take pride in it uh, i threw some interceptions too now because uh that those things happen but uh, I, I was definitely um tried to uh, improve my game as far as getting rid of the football uh, not uh, trying to help my offensive line uh, be better in those regards and uh, and they feel more confident in in you know just fighting for me i think i had a, an offensive lineman in ronnie southern Sudduth, who uh, didn't give up a sack for a very, very, very long time. And I think uh, he took pride in that as well as far as me getting rid of the football. Mm -hmm. And then when I held on to the football at times, you know, those guys just kind of across the board just kind of gained that attitude, that uh, that mentality across the board as far as, you know, the, the give and take. Chandler, how many interceptions did Marcus Crandall throw at ECU? Chandler's the trivia ace. Right oh here. boy, I don't know. Uh, what's his inter? What's his touchdown to interception ratio at East Carolina? Oh, I just want to guess the interceptions. Okay, I'm going to go. How many? You played three and a half years. How many years? I'll bro? tell you that he played in two. 10, 21, 32 games. Yeah, it's about two and a half years. Eight interceptions. Mm wow 12 hey, thank you <laughs> he, he didn't throw the ball away that much unfortunately hey how, how many we, we went from two and nine five five uh sorry five and seven two and nine and then we start to 
But look, I'd rather turn things I, around. I would have so rather there, there been were a lot loved. of gambles. Yeah. There were a lot of gambles taken in the quarterback <laughs> position to get. You got to go low. I would have rather went low, and, right. I, and I was going to say twelve, but I was like, well, maybe they're asking me this because it is a very low number. But what is it? Thirty thirty eight. 38. 38. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> good job. 58 touchdowns. Man. To those 38. Hall points. of Famer. So, uh, yeah. Hall of Fame stats. 58. Oh, did I say eight? I meant Damn. 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I forgot to say the three. The other number. You just got the other number. <laughs> yeah, a lot of That's, chances being taken there. A lot, a lot of chances. A lot of risk, man. A lot of yeah. risk. And, uh, you know, the, the reward was good for the most part. What would Logan tell you after a, a pick or two? Was it? Well, he, here's the thing. And I... And, there were some times where Coach Logan actually just stressed. We got to a certain part of the field. Don't worry about throwing interceptions, right? Uh, take the risk, and uh, because of the you know the other situations that we uh, had to deal with as far as special teams and all of those things. But, okay. Uh, so I, I went in with the mindset of hey, let it, loose. <laughs> let it go, right? And so um, and 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 then if I did throw an interception, I, I it, it was gone, man. It was gone. It was. No. Um, on to the next play. I, I shelved it and, um, you know, came back. And for the most part, I'm just going to say I went back and we, we made a touchdown from another, uh, from a TD reception or, or the right. pass. Yeah. So, yeah. Mentality. And I mean, that's a skill, too, that guys got to have, forgetting about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I said it, you know, before the season started, as far as these young guys mm-hmm. going through what they're going to go through, as far as the, um, you know, the growth process. Um, it, it is part of it, and that, that's a huge part of it because, you know, we, we say it uh, as a cliche is, you know, uh, you know, live to see another down for quarterbacks mm-hmm. and all those kind of things and um, move on to the next play. But it is a skill, man. You really have to learn how to have a short-term memory in football because things happen so quickly. Uh, you're right back out there on the field. You're right back to the next play. You can't, you can't ponder on those things. You can't uh, harp on those things that you did wrong. All right, uh, got, speaking of quarterbacks, a lot of uh, Bryce Young slander going on on the YouTube chat right now. Chandler, uh, no, Eric, I'm not looking at it. Eric says Tim Tebow greater than Bryce Young. Steve said Bryce Williams greater than Bryce Young. Jamie said Bryce Dallas Howard greater than Bryce Young. Okay. I no comment. Uh, I mean, you yeah. have zero thoughts on that. No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I just. I, just no, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> I, I don't get the Bryce Young slander. I don't get it at uh, all. Period. Because he's the quarterback, and it's easy yeah, it to is. pick on, no, and you don't know what else to – You know what? Before the season, I, and I mentioned this to you guys in, in regards to Bryce, I, I want to see how he handles this, right, in, in regards to, you know, the, the bad, so to speak. And um, he's, you know, from, from the very first <laughs> – as soon as he got chosen or picked – uh, by the Carolina Panthers, it started. He's only five eight, whatever, right, and all those kind of things. Um, it's going to be continuous, and so how he handles handles it uh, is going to be key for him as far as his success in the NFL. They're trying to get him a receiver right now, so there's been yeah. different names put out there. Um, you know, T. Higgins was one of the first guys we went out after. I don't think Cincinnati's looking to move him at all well, right he, now. He after got they, injured I, or something happened to him no. just this past week. Hollywood Brown was the name I heard yesterday. So, um, I don't know. Did We're, they think about that this offseason? Uh, not doing – sorry. That, was that unnecessary? No, but, like, really, no, like we kind of knew what you had no, going into the year. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of additions to the offense with Hayden Hurst and DJ Shark. But, I mean – those are not top Pardon me while I who, who calls the plays this is frank oh boy don't get him oh, started sorry. on this hey, hey, the head coach the, calls the play frank frank calls chandler calls wants to see the offensive coordinator take over those duties yes so interesting uh situation there. it is i mean he's um i mean he's he's been a quarterback so i mean um, a lot of people think you know when you uh become head coach and then um you know you can take over as far as a, being a, an ex-quarterback you can uh, take over those duties as well, but uh, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. We see these stories throughout the year, uh, throughout the years with teams, and sometimes the play calling duties will go from head coach to OC, or sometimes it goes the other way. And, I'm going to take the, over and the then duties. back. Right? Yeah, I mean, like, you're looking at McCarthy right now, right? Right. Like he he yeah. used to call plays in Green Bay. Gave him over to um, what's his name? Uh, Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore, and, and now who's in uh, with the Chargers? Yep. And uh, now he's back doing that. And so, um, yeah, it kind of goes back and forth. And it, it's really a comfort thing, I believe, as far as, um, you know, how how you feel about it and handing over those reins to the 
coordinator uh marcus you you had your list before the season and uh some notes on that list you you like the browns this year you did not like the steelers and kenny pickett you had sam howell on your list of quarterbacks to i don't know what the official wording of it was but win quarterbacks that, much, that are going to win you find, some games find a way to win football right. games yeah you are a, a patient man and you realize the season is uh is long i am an impatient fan <laughs> so two weeks ago i was like sam howell on the list marcus knows last week i told you to take his name off the list after four interceptions this week i'm putting him back on your list <laughs> so you know what maybe i should just sit back let you have your list uh sam looked good against philly very good in the clutch uh and now uh we'll see what they can do against what looks like an inferior opponent tonight not that washington's that great but taking on a bears team that's lost four in a row or 14 in a row uh four in a row this year uh but a a game that washington should win and uh, we'll see if they can take care of business tonight yeah i mean it uh for sam man it's about him and and for um you know for the team period in regards to you know just not giving up and i think they showed that last week yeah. in regards to coming back and, and uh making in the game giving themselves a chance to uh to uh to win the football game and then for the enemy it's for him to realize that, all right uh, sam howell's not patrick mahomes so how am i going to manage what who sam howell is as opposed to Patrick Mahomes. And so those two have to figure out those things as far as, you know, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> Howell is very capable of making plays, uh, you know, just ad-libbing, ad-libbing for, um, you know, when plays aren't working, when they're called. And so he's he's able to do that. But at the same time, he has to realize, right, uh, I'm probably not as fleet as foot and athletic and get re- out of – the situation that Patrick could get out of, so just throwing the ball away is is really important. He's not playing with the the '90s Cowboys offensive line either. He's got to get rid of the football. That has been his uh, number one issue this year. And looking at it, Sam Howell has thrown. He's around let's see, two, four, six, eight, ninth in uh, pass attempts. Because I was going to say, Marcus, it feels like that for the most part, Eric Bieniemy trusts him. Like going from Mahomes to a guy that's had one career start, right? It, it's complete, it's a totally different world. Absolutely, uh, but it does feel like there is a trust there between quarterback and coordinator, and, and I do like to see that. Yeah, I, I think is um, it's, it's going to be an ongoing ordeal for them uh, as far as the comfort level. Of, but every time he goes out and has has those types of games. Uh, because that's that's what Patrick did. He, I mean, he showed that he can uh, win football games, and so he shows that resiliency uh, out there on the field. I think is going to translate into wins. Here's the stat: uh, he's on top of the league in uh, quarterback sacked, uh, mm. twenty four, and Daniel Jones is at twenty two, and he just got sacked how many times on Ooh. Monday Night Football? So it wasn't even really close before then, uh, and has lost one hundred and fifty six yards. Washington has in Sam House sacks this year. So yeah, he definitely has to get rid of the football. But yeah. at, at the same time, man, that that offensive line has to take some pride in protecting their quarterback. Marcus, uh, thanks for hanging out on a bye week. We'll uh, talk to you next Thursday. We'll just have you on your almost original slotted PRL time, and uh, we'll you'll join us on the pregame show. That works, man. So we'll do that, and then have another Saturday off, and then have another Saturday off. Thank you. We'll take it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Marcus. Enjoyed it, man. Yes. We'll uh, take a break. Come back. More to go. When we return, we're breaking out the hazmat suits. We're going inside the Facebook comments, folks. It's not going to be pretty. But it might be funny. Uh, we'll do that when we return. Also, Hour 2, Billy Weaver will join us. Jeff Nadeau, Hour 3, and more Mike Houston. Blake Harrell, Donnie Kirkpatrick comments, plus a giveaway. A lot more to go on a Thursday. We're back with you after this. My honey, my baby, you don't put my love upon no shelf. She said, don't give me no life. Bud Light was brewed to be delicious and easy to drink beer, even when little things in life are hard. Like when the game is going into overtime, but you have even more time to enjoy it in a fresh Bud Light. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Pick up Bud Light at your local retailer today. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. 
Hey you. Yeah you. Have you heard? Green Velado World is under new ownership and is now part of the DriveHereNow.com network. DriveHereNow.com is run by local people who buy, service, detail, and sell everything directly to you. Green Velado World is now the fifth dealership to join the DriveHereNow.com network. Get car shopping today at DriveHereNow.com and choose a location near you. DriveHereNow.com, serving Eastern North Carolina for over 47 years and proud supporter of the Pirates. I'm Caleb Stroud, the founder of Stroud's Marine. I grew up on the water and I've loved boating my entire life. In 2012, I decided to give back to the marine community by creating a way for boaters to order pre-owned salvaged marine parts online. Stroud's Marine was born to offer incredible prices and unparalleled customer service. We stand behind every part we sell and our mission is to save you money and get you back on the water as quickly as possible. Visit StroudsMarine.com today for more information. Stroud's Marine, your best source for salvage outboard parts. Hey, Pirate Nation! Lindsey Gray here with Carolina Caliber. Dove, ducks, and deer, it's that time of year, and we've got the guns and all the gear. When you're not getting rowdy at Dowdy, enjoy browsing our online store and take your pick from the largest selection of firearms and accessories in Eastern NC. Be sure to check out our weekly hot deals, and when you're ready, head to Carolina Caliber. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff are ready to lead you to the perfect treasure. Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville, it's a time-honored tradition. Milt Strong and built to last. Kawasaki Mule Side-by-Sides are made to handle the toughest jobs. Whether you're putting in a hard day's work or trail riding on the weekend, Mule Side-by-Sides are built to get it all done with confidence. From the Compact Mule SX to the full-size Mule Pro FXT, no matter the task, there's a perfect Mule Side-by-Side to help get the job done. We've stayed authentic to our roots for over 30 years with an uncompromised commitment to performance, capability, and durability. That commitment is captured in three words after building a reputation that doesn't waver. When it comes to the capable lineup of Kawasaki Mule side-by-sides, those three words are trusted, tried, and true. Whether you're looking for a compact or full-size Kawasaki Mule, visit our showroom at Ron Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11 north of the airport in Greenville, or online at ronayersmotorsports.com. On approved credit, see dealer for details. This is John Gavigan with the Gavigan Agency. Our top priority is doing what is best for our members. Whether you are buying a new vehicle, a new home, protecting your family with life insurance, or filing a claim, our agency will be there every step of the way. Our goal is to become a trusted advisor for you and your family for all of your personal and commercial insurance needs. Give us a call in Greenville at 756-1400 for a car, home, business, or life insurance quote today. And give us the opportunity to show you the benefits of doing business with someone who cares. Hey, Pirate Nation. This is Amanda Houston. And when it came time to make the game-winning play for relaxation at our house, I made the right call to Jamie Lang and Carolina Hardscapes. Jamie and his team built the backyard oasis of our dreams with a beautiful custom paver patio, outdoor lighting, and fireplace. Make your backyard incredible and call Carolina Hardscapes today at 364-1201 or visit their showroom on Fire Tower Road across from Bostick Suck. Go Pirates! This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Metaspa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaspa.com to set up a free consultation. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. UBE has been an ECU tradition for over 50 years, and you can shop online anytime at PirateWear.com. UBE has the biggest and best selection of ECU sportswear and accessories for pirates of all ages. Every day is game day at UBE. And the Buccaneer Music Hall has all of the fun for your Sunday fun day covered. Every Sunday, kick off the day at the Buck with the largest 4K screen in Greenville along with 18 TVs so you don't miss a single game. Uh, They'll have mimosa specials, a Bloody Mary menu, and pizza all day from Pizza Hut. And don't forget the weekly jersey giveaway starting at 5 o'clock. 
Score every Sunday at the Buck. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Uh, you know what that Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard is missing? Baseball. Because all the yep. series ended yesterday. Uh, you've got Milwaukee uh, going out quickly to Arizona. The Blue Jays didn't put up a fight against the Twins. The Marlins didn't put up any kind of fight against the Phillies. And what's the other? The oh, Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers. Uh, the Rays didn't put up. It was kind of a boring couple of days of baseball. What really sucks was Sean Armstrong made an appearance for the Rays during that game. But it was, like I mentioned yesterday, it was too little too late. As uh, I think by that point, the Rangers had, I think it was up four runs uh, by the time they brought Sean in. So there was no point in doing that. I think it might have even been 7 nothing. It, it might have been 7 nothing. And then I watched the Phillies-Marlins game uh, hoping to see Jeff Hoffman come in. He didn't have to because uh, thanks to, let me see if I got his name right, Byron Stott? Or is it Bryson Stott? I can't remember his first name. But anyway, he hits a grand slam, pretty much seals it for the Marlins. I mean, for the Phillies. Uh, they win it 7-1, to one, I believe, was the final score. So, uh, so congratulations to Jeff Hoffman. He is in the uh, in it, was it NLDS. NLDS facing the Braves. The Braves. Coming up on Saturday. Uh, tonight, college football. Sam Houston at Liberty. And Western Kentucky at Louisiana Tech, also on Amazon Prime. It'll be the Commanders hosting the Da Bears coming up. Uh, we will go out to our Halloween Express live line in just a little bit. Talk to uh, Billy Weaver, who will join us. Halloween Express, right next to Target. It is Greenville's premier Halloween superstore, Halloween Express. Get shopping today if you are a kid, adult. They got the masks, they got the decor, whatever you need at Halloween Express right beside Target. And uh, we'll check in with Weave coming up, who's a big Halloween guy later on this hour. Uh, the big dog Glenn Griffin here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Chandler Honeycutt, Shirley Rhodes. What's up, big dog? Just reading comments. All right. The hazmat suits are on. Let's go. All right. So East Carolina dropped a jersey. Uh, last night and we posted that on our Facebook and right now East Carolina is dealing with losses on the football field and people just cannot separate the bad play on the field with anything that goes on in, a, in the athletic program <laughs> in the athletics <laughs> like, they're like you guys are playing lacrosse football's one and four what are you doing <laughs> uh and, and the jersey is awesome by the way it looks it's really great. good it's one of the best ones they've ever had it's gonna be great it's it's, gonna... it's it's as close to perfect as you probably can get but people are not happy and let's hear uh some of the comments uh inside the uh, facebook chat mm uh greta says just win who cares what combo well this uh there are 639 likes on this uh this post that we put up so a lot of people care yeah or whether they care or not they're interested in it uh from the five comments i saw last night we are now to 106 richard said take all the uniform money and apply it to a men's soccer program ecu is too big not to have men's soccer (laughs) let the football program go out there ununiformed (laughs) even tiny schools offer men's soccer having said that the black looks pretty cool but in 1991 when we were 11 and 1 nobody cared that we wore purple and gold each and every week take all that uniform money start soccer says richard all right i got one all right brian brian says this epitomizes ecu football more concerned with the flash of new and different uniforms than putting together a consistent winning program. I have one. All right. Just don't say Robbins because that's my favorite. I'm going to save that one okay. for last. But, okay. yeah, who do you got? I've got our good friend, Kenny from Blunt's Creek. All right, Kenny Curlins. This is a late night post, so I'm going to give Kenny the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> All right. We, the fans, might be as football smarts as Coach Houston – but we steal the BS on the field on game day. Kenny, I couldn't well have said, said it. I couldn't have slurred it any better well, myself. Well said. We the what? <laughs> <laughs> we, but we steal the BS on the field on game day. We the fans might be as football smarts as Coach Hugh, as Coach. 
<laughs> it's so wrong. My brain, there it was. Hey, Glory hey, hole. Your brain is trying to rewrite it as you read it. Oh, Kenny. I got one from uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey says, once again, stop worrying about the unis mm -hmm. and worry about the wins. You don't get a bowl game for having the prettiest win or the prettiest team. Very good point. Philip said, this is football. Let's focus on plays, scoring, and wins. Wins are tremendously fashionable. Very good point. Here is a uh, kind of like a Troy D complaint about people, about them telling us what to wear. Mm -hmm. Robin says, well, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything. Don't say anything at all. Wait a minute. That's, I can't read that one. Sorry. I stopped. I stopped. I just I asked you one just little asked. thing. One, I'm sorry. One tiny thing. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crap. All right. Go ahead. I don't have another one. Neither does neither does Clint now. I didn't read the whole damn thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ryan's is kind of funny. What are you mad about? Why are you angry? Because I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake and I stopped. Literally halfway through the first sentence of the of the whole paragraph that she wrote. I think Next one. I think it's a he. This guy says appropriate for the morning of Houston's tenure, and he spells morning as M. good morning. <laughs> uh, Ryan, this one's kind of funny. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's another L. Is that like a Maybelline fashion yes. thing he's yes. going for there? Okay, maybe it's not funny. We're going to uh, look good getting whooped on national TV. All right, Jesse said, maybe it's time for Pirate Radio to focus on the dental school, Mr. Beast, or something else that's amazing in Greenville. Football is very disappointing, and I'm quite sure the good prospects will be lured away. That's a good point. We should focus on grades. No, we should do At the a, university, we should have students in here to talk about their A's. We should do three hours on the dental school. That's what I'm day. saying. Like, I want to know the rankings. I want to know who's the smartest. I want to know the top guy or girl, whoever the top person is. We can do it. Top 25 dental students of the week. Uh, Tyler said, hey, 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 let's simmer down. Jamie says, Chan is mad about Bryce. <laughs> and I'm tired. <laughs> And I also keep running into positive comments. I don't want positive comments. No, I want negative ones. We want the negative comments. We're focusing on the negative you around here. You need to here. go to uh, two different posts then. Yeah, I mean, there's other posts we You do. need to go to the Donnie Houston, Kirkpatrick. Or the Donnie one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, Sonny said, school colors again. Yeah. <laughs> Can't seem to find black and gold in the fight song. Gold's literally in the fight song, Sonny. Have a sunny day. Tim said, save this for a good squad. Um, I want to see if I can find any more. Uh, Michael, they need to they need to win a game and not worry about uniforms. Classic. Because they came up with this after... Like, oh. They just came up with it this week. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones, too. This is my second favorite from Kyle. Um, Kyle, not Kyle in the Grange another kyle not kyle robinson a week out and putting <laughs> all right i'm gonna read it word for word you got to a week out and putting put uniforms out period dot 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 what's the spread smu should cover the <laughs> end of post <laughs> let me repeat that a week out and putting put uniforms out Space, 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 dot, 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 space, space. What's the spread SMU should cover? The. <laughs> I love ending a comment with the word the. the. Uh, I have one that I like. All right. This is on the uniform post. The. Shane Carden is the man that should be coaching the Pirates. Yeah. He believed in them so much he tattooed his arm. Where is your tattoo, Mike? <laughs> Where's your tattoo, Mike? Uh, when you sign the contract, you got to get it inked. You go right to Gary's downtown, you get inked up. That's the way it is. Not a true pirate. Doesn't have a tattoo. Uh, let's see. Jules says, don't give a crap what they wear. Just pass the football. And oh, by the way, catch it too. Bill said, fitting for a funeral. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, wait, is this the same one? This is—is is this yours? Yes. 
<laughs> Why do you want to keep that? Because I, I, I skipped to the very end, and it's just so good at the very end, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Uh, Steven says, now I didn't understand this one. Uh, what is he saying? As a diner for 24 years, if they don't mark the brand, my no, my donation is gone. He, he's a donor. Yeah, I was just reading that. As a diner for 24 years. Okay. Well, he, he has eaten there quite a bit. Just wear normal uniforms like Michigan and create a brand. Why haven't we thought about that? Why don't we just be Michigan? We don't ever think outside the box like that. Why don't we ever be think Michigan? Like that? All right, here's Robbins. Well, <laughs> if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And they are going to promote all fans to wear black for a night game with drunk drivers and fans wearing clothes that can't be seen in the dark. I will be wearing the brightest gold and white I can find. <laughs> we need the players to wear highlighter uniforms and the like safety vest, orange safety vest. Well, it could so be. then the fans will wear that. So then we won't hit them while we're drunk in our cars. I I was disappointed in these uniforms with one thing. Earlier this year, like last week state and georgia tech both adidas schools they got their black uniforms and they had glow in the dark elements and they had skeleton feet cleats Mm -hmm. and skeleton hands Mm -hmm. that were glow in the dark where are ours did we spend that money on a men's soccer program i ain't seen yet i think so i think we're starting a men's soccer team next week so i was disappointed we didn't if we had the glow in the dark elements then you would be seen jay on facebook says the point fans act like coach houston canceled practice so we could have a dress rehearsal for next thursday that is the point is that that's the point literally nothing jay, about these uniforms impacted anything in the football program jay hits it there you go fans that's that's it that's what it's all about i don't want to go into donnie's uh comments they are that, that's yeah. I, it's beyond hazmat suit that's not funny <laughs> maybe some of them are i don't know i hadn't really looked at all of them uh, but I, pre- I, I'd rather look at the funny, and these are funny. Just that people don't realize that the team can practice as they do all the time. And I saw somebody say, "Do they think the players and Coach Houston are knitting these jerseys?" Uh, <laughs> after the as, after practice, Roger Harris is putting <laughs> stickers on helmets. <laughs> uh, Shane Calhoun is a oh knitting God. expert. What's up, my guy? I got a sticker. We got black jerseys, my, <laughs> my guy. <bad. laughs> uh, Chad said glow in the dark elements went to dental school. Ah, that money went to NIL. <laughs> Eric said if a drunk driver <laughs> <laughs> if a drunk driver ends up on the field, we're screwed. <laughs> that is really because uh, SMU will probably be wearing white uniforms. So we, you'll be able to see them. Mm-hmm. But if you drunk drive into Daddy Ficklin Stadium and you're at the 20, to the 30, 30, to to the the 40, 40, and the Pirates are in their all-black uniforms, you're not going to be able to see them. Oh, and what people also don't know is that it's going to be a literal blackout. Like, they're not going to play the game without lights on. Don't say that because that could happen. Yeah, that's true. It's happened before on a Thursday. That's what I'm saying. Do do not tempt fate. All right. It's a victory this week a little bit, if anything. Thank you. I think about these uniforms Thank a little bit Mark. for sure, if anything. For sure. The, the. Coach, this thing is getting serious, man. you got a seriously good season working, a seriously good day going today, and a seriously good streak <laughs> on the line at the moment. <laughs> what must it all feel like at the moment? <laughs> I, I can see it on your face, but uh, what must it all feel like? Just trying to keep things level, level. as you head into the weekend here. Great. I man. miss Great him man. so much. I know. The room over there is so tense now. Yeah. And so life's great. Football sucks right now. <laughs> he helps a little bit, but it, the, the room over there is very tense. And Mark would always lead off with one of those bangers, and it would loosen up the room. Yeah. Uh, what do you turkeys got cooked up for Thanksgiving here? I'm asking that on the week before that. I'm, I'm introducing that as a tradition that that's okay. how that press conference leads off. This the, year. the spirit of Mark Lindsay lives on. Out the of week before Thanksgiving, practice. we're going to ask that question. Uh, I'm glad John Moody picked up on this because I was kind of trying to do this during the Halloween Express ad read. The Halloween Superstore. I like it. Halloween Express. 
as what was the uh, announcer's name that used to say that for edge glenn do you remember he is over in the other company though i think now glenn you don't work for wwe you can say aew <laughs> i like that you're like <laughs> he won't say their name <laughs> are you that loyal <laughs> he's with the other company this might be watching man i gotta i gotta watch what i'm doing he's with here. that ragtag indie that comes on <laughs> TNT. uh tony shamel yeah, yeah yes yeah. tony shim rated our superstar superstar the other company that was funny man <laughs> is that your gimmick i don't acknowledge it it's, don't acknowledge. it's like michael cole i can't acknowledge them on air <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for joining us in the uh, the comment section, folks. I did, when I saw we posted it, I said it's going to blow up. I like We're going to have to get the hazmat suits on tomorrow, and I'm glad we did. Chad said Chan can be the new Mark Lindsay. Talk about that. Talk about a little. Do bit we have uh, Do we have that the the talk about montage? Blake, where do you feel? <laughs> if not, if not, you can make one from Chandler's she, interview with the long snapper. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chandler, sorry, man. We're kind of we're kind of dogging you today. Well, right? uh, talking about uh, you grew up here a little bit. Talk about the transition over to East Carolina. I mean, talk about the recruiting process. So talk about the recruiting process. You talk about maybe some of the camps you bit. went to. So talk yeah. about those camps. For talk sure. about uh, talk about talk <laughs> about talk about talk about talk yeah. about a little bit. Talk about a little bit. Blake, where do you feel like you've uh, you've learned the most about your defense so far? Where the, what have they gotten best? Uh, gotten better at uh, best and <laughs> Besides what you just talked about, where they got to get better at? Man, that's, that's a good question. The best, the better. Where have they gotten better at? The best. The best. Jamie said, Dude. what happened to Delaney? She saw what this was all about and got the hell out <laughs> of it. <there>. out. <laughs> she gone. She said, um, I'm leaving. Yep. See you never. No, nah, I think she'll be back. It was her first day. Just kind of getting her uh, feet wet a little bit for sure in terms, in terms of, of getting about feet that. wet. Seeing sure. what these turkeys have cooked up. Skip's in the house. Skip, you're just in time. Coming up next, Billy Weaver joins us on the Halloween Express live line. This is almost like a run-in. This uh, is a, a setup right a here. full segment with Weave and Skip. You're just in time for it, buddy. So stay tuned. When we return, Billy Weaver will be talking. <laughs> and Skip will be commenting. And Skip will be angry. Well, I don't know. I can't hear him because you're always talking. We'll take a break. Go to hell. Get a job. We'll take a break, come back, have more for you. Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Back with you after these words. You're bound to be a star. And if you don't go all the way, no one should go by. This race is so relaxed. It can turn you up. Here at Brown and Wood with Jeff Stein. Jeff, I've noticed a lot of great GMC pickup trucks on the lot. Yes, sir. We have 2500s and 1500s in stock and the all new 3.0 Duramax diesel. We earn 30 extra trucks on allocation, so go online, brownandwood.com, or stop in, build your truck, we'll get it coming for you. Brown and Wood, voted number one by the customer in Greenville. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. Stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work, down on Main Street is the perfect spot for dinner and a drink on the patio. Join down on Main Street every Wednesday for half price wings from four to close. Down on Main Street on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Go Pirates! UBE and PirateWare.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWare.com. Go Pirates! Hi. This is Frank Lee with Appliances Superstore, where we make buying appliances easy. If you're in need of a washer and dryer, I'm happy to tell you that we now have a Speed Queen lineup of washers and dryers. Speed Queen is the number one washer and dryer in the industry. It is made to last. 
and they're in stock now at the Appliances Superstore. We will deliver and set up your Speed Queen washer and dryer and remove your old ones. Come get your Speed Queen washer and dryer today at Appliances Superstore, located right off 264 behind the new DMV or AppliancesSuperstore.com. Papa John's new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza is the pizza inspired by our biggest fans with that garlic flavor you all love. Get it on it. Get the new Garlic Epic Soft Crust Pizza for $13.99, only at Papa John's. Hey, Pirate fans, Papa John's is the MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at papajohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Go Pirates! Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with, with Copy, Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at CopyPro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1-800-682-6558 or online at copypro.net. CopyPro, we are the professional office systems people. Are you having a hard time participating in the activities you love due to pain? Well, then you need a good stretch or perhaps a massage. At Bodies and Balance, they offer massage therapy, assisted stretching and Graston techniques to help provide solutions. With years of experience, the team at Bodies and Balance can create a stretch or massage program that is right for you. Mention Pirate Radio to get your first free stretch and your first massage for only $1 per minute. Call 916-4530 to get on the schedule or you can visit them online at bodiesandbalance.com. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh-Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. Yo, ho. You're listening to Pirate Radio. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Metaspa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaspa.com to set up a free consultation. Now, back to the show. All right, welcome back. Be sure to visit one of ECU graduate Brandon Tate's U.S. Cellular locations and experience the highest standard of customer service. The purpose of the Atlantic Wireless Store experience is to inform, illuminate, and inspire. Find the location near you at AtlanticWireless.com. Atlantic Wireless, we go beyond the call. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, back with you. Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Time to go out to the Halloween Express Live line Halloween Express, Greenville's premier Halloween superstore here in Greenville, right next to Target. And joining us, one of my co hosts on the US Cellular. Oh, well, he's not up yet. Is he up? Oh, Billy Weaver's up? No, Billy Weaver's on the phone. <laughs> Shirley's talking to Billy Weaver. See, the guy can't stop talking. I'm trying to do an interview, and he's over there yapping at Shirley. The guy cannot stop talking. He just talks, talks, Shut talks. Shut up, Billy. Talk, 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 talk. I got Marcus, Jason here, myself. I got so much I want to say. I got so many things I want to say during the fifth quarter, and I don't have time to say any of them because Billy Weaver talks the entire time. Okay, in Billy's defense, and <clears throat> I'm going to put Billy up, in Billy's defense, I asked Billy a question. He was answering my question. And That's he couldn't why shut up. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> um, and Billy was answering my question, and therefore, that's why it took you so long to get him on. Skip is on uh, YouTube. He said, see there? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. You're not throwing Billy under the bus on this one, bud. Come on. It's Rooster on me. Neck under the bus. We, it's on me. How you doing, man? 
I'm doing good, but look, I um, <laughs> I'm giving you guys fair warning that I refuse to go on the air without my entrance music now. Uh. Wait, what oh, the heck is this entrance music? Oh, I know what it is, Shirley. Um. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on, I'll get it for you. All right, Shirley will get it. Just relax. We'll. Uh, okay. I, I can stall until then, Chandler. Um, I like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. We you, can talk. We can talk before before then. The, right. Okay, a little pre pre interview. Well, let me ask Chandler. Chandler, where are you watching the Commanders tonight? Uh, maybe AJ's. You want to watch first half? Sure. Why not? Might do that tonight. Yes. If I can stomach it. Uh, weave. Commanders gonna win tonight? Yeah, I think so. Got but to. The Bears are horrible. They are. That's what worries me. <laughs> They've lost fourteen <laughs> games in a row. I shouldn't be nervous about this game. No, that's exactly why I'm nervous. <laughs> that I didn't realize they had lost fourteen in a row. I didn't know the number had gotten up that high. Uh, but yeah, that's the part that makes me the most nervous. Aside from the commanders being a favorite at home, it's just a recipe for disaster. Uh, oh, boy. We talked ourselves out of that one real fast. Um, all right. I got the song. I don't know if I can cue it up to the right spot, but I'll go ahead and hit it. Homeboy, you never shut up. Billy Weaver joining us on the program. Now, now can you talk? Wait, now is he gone? He did that in reverse. I played the intro song and he left. Get him back, Shirley. I don't know where Weaver is. Now, yeah. Steve. Hey, here he is. Weaver. I'm here. Hey, Billy. I am. I am actually just leaving Bayboro, beautiful Bayboro, North Carolina, heading. Oh, boy. We got issues. Just the way of the world. Okay. Well, we hope we can hear you throughout this conversation. Uh, Weave by week for the Pirates. I guess comes at a pretty good time because they got a lot of things to fix over there. So uh, what do you want to see come out of this bye week for ECU? Uh, receivers catching football. <laughs> uh, the offensive line. Um, no mistakes. Uh, I like you know. I mean, that's all the stuff that we had talked about. But that that, that doesn't get fixed overnight. But I would imagine during practices, uh, receivers are probably catching more balls on the jugs machines. Um, and, and I'm sure all the little things are being gone gone over. You know, with a fine tooth comb. And like you said, this this is a good week aspects of pirate football that need some attention. Shirley, can you give me uh, Mike Houston cut four? I asked him how he is addressing all the drops that uh, we continue to see week after week. Yeah, so they've uh, we started doing up downs for incomplete passes that uh, are catchable. Um, we've made everything we can with the receivers and the DBs a competition, um, and you know, and, and I'll tell you what, they really responded great yesterday. I mean, that's the best we've attacked the ball. Um, I've been extremely blunt with a couple of guys that, you know, if you want the ball to come your way, you better start catching it or you're not going to see it anymore. Um, now, I wish I could go out there and catch it for them, but I can't. But they've got to go out there and they've got to perform. So, I mean, I don't think it's for a lack of trying. I'm sure these guys are getting in extra work. Whatever reason, Billy, we're just not seeing it on the field on Saturday. So, uh, you know, Mike Houston's pretty serious with them out there and, and the old laying down the law. You keep doing this, you're not going to play, you're not going to you're not going to get targets. Well, I mean, you know, that's old school football. It's, it's no more, you know, you're, you're at a high level of football and – you're expected to catch the football when it hits your hands, period. No if, no ands, no buts. And at this level, it's got to be like that. Either you catch the football or we will throw it to somebody else who can catch the football, and then we'll keep doing that until we find somebody who can catch the football. And I think you have to lay down that law. And to me, that that should be a given, but a lot of times you've got to kind of there's there's no if, ands, or buts catch the ball or it's not going to be thrown to you. It's no different than, you know, back in the day when I can remember 
Skip Holtz and Steve Logan, guys would fumble the football. If you fumbled the ball, you sat on the bench. Uh, if you fumbled the football, you didn't get many carries. You had somebody else rotate in behind you. That's the way it should be. Like I said, this is a you know you're you're at an elite level of football. Not not many guys have an opportunity to play at a level like this. Uh, you need to take advantage of it. You need to take every play and every rep seriously. Not that they're not taking it seriously, but yeah. they, they've got to make sure that they get the job done, and that's the bottom line. Billy, we were joining us Halloween Express live line. We've uh, Mike Houston used the word blunt there a moment ago, and to be blunt, you know, do, does he, is East Carolina outmanned every time they take the field on Saturdays? If if that's the case, then. You know, it's the coach's responsibility to bring in better players. Are are they not being coached properly, but they do have the talent? You know, if that's the case, I mean, it all kind of falls back on the coaches one way or the other. That's just uh, the way it is, good or bad. Uh, You're going to get the credit. You're going to get the blame. So to have a blunt discussion here, Billy, uh, what what do you think? I mean, are we outmanned every time we take the field here? or, Or is there something this team can do different and pick up some wins here the second half of the season? Well, to be honest with you, I think at times they are outmanned and they there's better talent on the other side of the football. That's not always the case. Obviously the case in the season opener at Michigan, that one you just throw out. Uh, but there were Marshall's a good football team, and there were better athletes at certain positions uh, than East Carolina. Uh, I think it showed in the Gardner-Webb game the difference in the level of play and the difference in FCS and FBS, and East Carolina took advantage of that. Um, but week in and week out in the American, uh, as much as you know, people kind of maybe poo-poo the American and say, you know, well, it's, a, it's not a Power 5 conference and blah, 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 and all this, there's a lot of talent in this conference, and you're going to run up against teams that have talented players at certain positions. With that being said, East Carolina does have talent. They do. You see flashes of great talent uh, at a lot of positions, the running back position, the receivers. There's receivers that have made some great catches. Um, you know, the quarterbacks have, have had really bright spots at times, but it's the consistency. And I think it's a, you know, it's a, a lot of that has to do with the learning curve, and we've talked about this Time and time again, you look offensively and you look at all the talented players that are no longer in the program that were here just one short year ago, and you know the guys behind them weren't getting as many reps and shouldn't have been. You know your starters are going to get most of the reps in practice. Um, I just didn't expect it to be this deep into the season where we still have so many questions and so many mistakes. So I think it's a combination of talent and development of the talent that you have there. We'll be with you on the air this time next week on the Bud Light pregame tailgate, getting you ready for a Thursday night kickoff, East Carolina and SMU. And the Pirates will be breaking out some black uniforms, some new ones, Billy. They dropped pictures of those on Wednesday night. Have you uh, got a chance to see them yet? Oh, man, I love them. I really do. I really do. I'm a big fan of the purple and gold on the black. Um I think they're really, really nice looking. Uh, I just hope there's a lot of fans in the stands to appreciate them. Yeah, no doubt. I love the stripes uh, there with the purple and gold, and uh, they look really good, and you just hope it translates somehow into a win. It has nothing to do with a win or a loss, but uh, they will look good on the field taking on SMU and then Charlotte. So back-to-back home games here to try to right this ship uh, coming off of bye week, Billy, for ECU football. Uh, while the Pirates aren't playing this weekend, you've got the uh, Red River rivalry between Oklahoma and Texas. North Carolina trying to stay undefeated against Syracuse. They are 4-0. The Tar Heels are right now. Louisville trying to stay undefeated against Notre Dame. Louisville's 5-0, taking on the Irish at home this weekend. So, not a uh, Alabama-Texas A&M also playing this weekend. Uh, some decent games, Billy. Not a huge Saturday slate, but also Major League Baseball playoffs going on. Braves uh, and Phillies just saw they will throw out the first pitch at 6:08 on Saturday. So, you got some uh, some sports options this weekend with ECU off. Yeah, I did want to ask you what time my Mets are playing Saturday. Ah, yeah. (laughs) Sorry to report they will not be participating. Oh, that's 
that has got to be one of the biggest disappointments in sport. So I heard a show earlier today, Pick Central, and this was coming from a Mets fan, and he said, even as a Mets fan, um, that there are more dis- – he called the Blue Jays the most disappointing team, and they got a ton of talent. They went out with a whimper in the playoffs. Uh, Billy, a lot of people don't even probably remember this because it took me a minute to say, oh, yeah. Remember the Rays started out like 12-0 and and were like – 40 and 10 or whatever and now they're out of the playoffs so misery loves company billy there was a lot of disappointing teams the padres the cardinals a uh, few others involved there uh with your new york mets this year did you see the turnout for the rays oh it was brutal yeah it's like that just amazes me that they can they can uh just support you know, a team and not lose, I'm like, there's no fan support, obviously, but I mean, how monetarily can you oh, yeah. live without any of the support? But that just goes to show you what television rights, revenue sharing, all that, you know, season tickets, boxes, you know, and corporate sponsorship and all that means in uh, professional sports, that you can play playoff games in front of an empty stadium and still survive. It's, it's crazy. It's just, you know, but it's always been like that, especially down in that Tampa area. There's just so much other other stuff to do that they're just not it's just not a baseball town and you know that's that's why you know i'm, I'm just a I, I love to see places like look at the look at chicago i mean the cubs were so bad for so many years but you would go to that place and it was electric on a tuesday night i remember i was you know the one time i've been able to go to wrigley field i think it was a tuesday or wednesday night and it was in the middle of the season not particularly a great opponent and they packed the place out. Yeah, I love the playoff crowds, Weave. Did you see Minnesota? They've been uh, starving for a series win for 20-plus years now. They finally got one, and that place was packed. Philadelphia always packed. So it's so cool to see these crowds in the postseason, and then you saw what was going on in Tampa. And you're right. I wonder if Major League Baseball takes a, a hard look at that and says Nashville, Raleigh, whatever, uh, looking for a new market. Oh wow! Wouldn't that be awesome to have a major league baseball team in Raleigh? That that would be that would be awesome. Um, I, I to be honest with you, I think Charlotte would probably get one first. But still, to have a major league baseball team in the state of North Carolina would be awesome, and that's not out of the realm of possibility. Um, you know that that would be really cool. playoff baseball is is really a lot of fun. Like I said, I just just wish my Mets were involved in it somehow. Eric uh, Eric on YouTube said the New York Mets, the one thing in the world that Billy doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, Jamie says throw in the Yankees and the Red Sox too. Uh, more Yankees than Red Sox, but yeah, you look at payrolls uh, and some of these teams not in the playoffs is. Makes you scratch your head. Uh, we before we let you go, I hadn't mentioned this. So North Carolina wide receiver Tez Walker will be eligible to play this season after new information emerged that the NCAA said school officials uh, failed to provide previously. So either way, this has been a big story. Uh, will he be able to play? He's transferred more than once. And we're keeping an eye on this just because of Cam Hayes with ECU basketball. He is a multi-time transfer. And Cy Seymour on the show yesterday just said uh, with the receiver in North Carolina not being able to play, it, it probably doesn't look good for Cam Hayes. Okay, well, now he is able to play. So uh, maybe that document's open back up. And would love to see Cam Hayes be able to play for the Pirates on the court this year. But I still think it's unlikely at this point. Yeah, it would be. Um, but you know what? I, I've, I think I've mentioned this before. You know, the, the transfer portal to me has just kind of gotten out of hand. It went from zero to 100 really, really quickly. Um, and I, I think the transfer portal is good where if you're transferring one time, people make mistakes. Uh, coaches get other jobs and leave and, and – you know, the, the player is not playing for the same coach that recruited him. I get stuff like that. But, you know, you see now players, basketball players, not as baseball, but especially in football and ball, guys that are transferring three and four times. They're at a new school every year. I think the NCAA at some point has to look at that and decide on, okay, are we going to put a – a transfer limit. You know, we'll say, okay, you're you're limited to only two transfers during your college career, and that's it. So I got to think the NCAA is going to 
do something at some point because between NIL and transfer portal, like I said, it it went from having nothing at all for in 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 respect for the student athletes, and then now they have everything at their disposal. They can make you know millions of dollars still while they're in college, and then they can transfer at the drop of a hat. So I think there's the NCAA has to do something about that. There was a rule that came out uh, just yesterday, I believe, that the NCAA uh, approved changes to the transfer portal windows that will shrink the number of days for student athletes to enter their name in the portal. It will impact all sports. It gives players 45 total days throughout the year to enter their names into the portal. So, yeah, it's uh, NIL portal, kind of wild, wild west. They are going to try to... uh, to at least come up with some parameters and they have here with the the portal stuff we've so uh, jamie and josh both pointing out that the mets gm uh resigned they just announced so yeah it's going to be a uh an overhaul there in new york so enough mets baseball <laughs> <laughs> uh, i got more to talk about on the bye week than that when is it not a complete overhaul in New York? It's nah. usually the manager or the general manager or somebody's something's going on in there. It, it's it's you know I I just don't know how I became a Mets and a Commanders fan and all the misery that I've had to go through in the through the years. So not that the Nationals are any good, but like just just saying, if you swap teams, if you went Giants and Nationals, you would have two Super Bowls and a uh, World Series. <laughs> well, I mean, we have three Super Bowls with the Commanders. I know, but I'm just saying in in God modern times, Billy, not when our forefathers were fighting for the. <laughs> <laughs> no, that it, it's funny because that seems like yesterday to me. Right. You know, I remember 1991 very, you know, vividly. It doesn't seem like 1991 does not seem that far away from me, but I forget that a lot of people that listen to your show and a lot of people that we come in contact with on a daily basis and have these sports talks and discussions with weren't even born. So uh, Parker Bird, uh, Billy, who might be joining us on the show tomorrow, if time permitting, but Parker Bird was in here uh, a couple weeks ago and he said he was a Commanders fan. And I said, okay, that's got to be uh given down to you and your family he said yep father grandfather and i said because no it's not cool to be a washington fan and it hasn't been in a long time so if you see any young commanders fans like parker bird weave you know it was a it's a family gene it's not a i chose this team thing yeah yeah they 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 got the bad family gene yep (laughs) <laughs> I got it, and uh, yeah, just keep passing it down. All right, Weave, thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining us today, man. We'll uh, hey Saturday off. Uh, enjoy your time off. We'll uh, see you next Thursday here. Hey, it's it's gonna. Be, I just it's awesome to have two Thursday night games that I'm gonna be very very interested in. Yeah. between tonight and next Thursday, so it's cool. No doubt, I'm ready for it. Thank you, Weave. See you, bud. All right, man. Billy Weaver joining us, Halloween Express Live Line. And uh, we will talk to Weave, Cranman, J. Nick, and uh, everybody else involved with our game day coverage next Thursday right here on Pirate Radio. Bud Light pregame tailgate kicking off at 3.30. Let's take a break. We'll come back, wrap up hour number two. Jeff Nadeau joining us hour three. Nate Connor, D.H. Conley head football coach, joining us hour number three as well. Plus a giveaway. More to go. Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after this. Right, mind you. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Parker Bird, number 16 for your ECU Pirates. I've just launched a new t-shirt on piratewear.com that represents many of my dreams. I committed to play baseball for ECU as a ninth grader in high school. I worked hard many days for the thought of seeing my name at number 16 on the back of a Pirates jersey. On July 23rd, 2022, I was in a boating accident that resulted in me losing my right lower leg. After getting out of the hospital, I am still striving to become the first division 
Division I baseball player to play with a prosthetic leg. Still I Rise has become my mantra in the way I approach each and every day and how I approach my comeback. As I watched my teammates last year get the I Love You sign to the bullpen as they ran the bases following a home run, I used this gesture on my shirt to show my love to Pirate Nation. Purchase your Still I Rise shirt today at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! Attention athletes and fans, Tiebreakers is looking for all-stars. Do you know an athlete who made a game-winning play, scored an amazing touchdown, or hit a huge home run? We're scouting Eastern North Carolina for this month's most outstanding athlete. Go to tiebreakersathlete.com to nominate your favorite player for the prestigious Athlete of the Month Award. Tiebreakers, shining a light on the athletes that make Eastern North Carolina proud. Submit your nomination now at tiebreakersathlete.com. It's hard to forget how hot it gets around here in the summer. Remember, the hotter it is outside, the harder your AC has to work to keep it cool inside. And the more energy it uses to keep you cool, the higher your utility bill will be. Your neighbors at GUC have tips to help you reduce your energy use, such as using fans to cool you down inside and cooking outside when you can in the summer. For more tips, go to GUC.com and look for ways to save. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving shell gas, including 93 ethanol-free high-octane gas, which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates! Hey, I'm Holt Nailers. No one knows better than me how important it is as a quarterback to have protection on the field to be successful. My frontline team is critical to my success. For your frontline insurance protection, you need the team at Buck Insurance Agency. Buck Insurance Agency is your local team and have been helping customers like you for over 30 years with their insurance needs. When you need insurance protection, you'll get the whole team with Brian Buck and his staff. Call toll free at 877-357-1966. Go Pirates. The brunch is back. The famous brunch buffet at Fifth Street Hardware has a variety of breakfast and lunch items from 1030 to 2, including an omelet station and prime rib and a special Sunday cocktail menu, including mimosa flights. Don't forget Fifth Street Hardware has lunch specials every day, along with over 40 beers on tap. Trivia Wednesday, live music every Thursday night and a late night menu through the weekend. Visit FifthStreetHardware.com or give them a follow on Facebook and Instagram for a weekly lineup and more. Go Pirates! The time to save on new furniture is now during Bostick Sug Furniture's incredible end of summer sell-off. Save on our huge selection of furniture for every room. Hundreds of items in stock ready for immediate delivery. And if that's not enough, get six months special financing. Improve your sleep on a great new mattress with 48 months special financing. This is a great time to buy new furniture during the end of summer sell-off. Going on now at Bostick Sug Furniture. This is Carson Wissenhunt, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. We'll be singing when we're winning. We'll be singing. I can't no You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Meta Spa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaSpa.com to set up a free consultation. Now back to the show. Welcome back. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots, and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Contact the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medi Spa on Red Banks Road in Greenville. Free consultations available by calling 752-1406 or visiting beautybarmedispa.com. Enjoy your visit. Love your transformation. And Bud Light reminds Pirate fans to always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now let's head back into PRL. Here's Clip. Next Thursday, we will be on the Bud Light pregame tailgate at this time. So looking forward to some weeknight football here in Greenville, Night of the Boneyard, Black Unis, ECU. 
and SMU. All right, quick seg here. Uh, let's go over our national day calendar real quick, gang. Uh, today is National Do Something Nice Day, so we all need to um, participate in that. I've been mean a little bit to Chandler today, and I feel double bad about it now that it's National Do Something Nice Day today. So uh, I did something nice today. Good. What'd you do? I let you have one of my Diet Mountain Dews. You did. Thank you. I appreciate that. I asked you. You said yes, and I drank it, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Shirley. You're welcome. And uh, I will try to do something nice for y'all before we uh, get out of here today. Okay. I'll come up with something. It is also National Get Funky Day. Y'all trying to get funky? Got to get funky. Uh, it's Thursday. Now it's time Thursday. to get funky. <laughs> to the oh, left. To the, the right, right now, y'all. Two of this, this time. Two of this time. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we got funky on Get Funky Day. Funky. It is National Rhode Island Day. When you think, What's in Rhode Island? When I think of Rhode Island, I think of Lamar Odom. I think of Family Guy. That one state nobody can ever get on the map. Thank you uh, for sending us a Keem Richmond. Appreciate that. And that's about all I got. And it is National Apple Betty Day. Now, do y'all know what that is? No. I, I know a, what an apple bottom is, but I don't know what an apple Betty is. Do you know what boots with the fur are? Yeah. <laughs> uh, National Apple Betty Day. Similar to what is known as an apple crisp, crumble, or cobbler, the American variant known as the Betty or brown betty dates from colonial times brown um, betty bam limp oh no, cinnamon wait, sugar right. butter to make the crumbs uh that top sliced apple and it looks like there is some uh some ice cream dumped on it as well oh so it's kind of like a cobbler a cobbler crumble type oh, of situation oh okay 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 looks looks pretty tasty I mean, it, ju- of- judging from the picture you've got right there it, yeah. it, i can see it cuz it's big enough but uh that looks kind of good it looks uh, I like mean, a if nice it tastes treat. like an apple pie i i'm down with it yeah. speaking of sweets i had uh famous amos uh cookies not a sponsor was it good yeah they were delicious when did you have those today on the golf course okay they were my care package <laughs> <laughs> they're in my gift package they're in my do not care package see that was mean i i think my you're beating me down, man. My default setting is just mean. I'm a mean person. I don't want to be mean, Chandler. I want to be nice to you. You do a terrible job. I at know, it. I know, but you're my. I mean, bu- an awful job. You're my buddy, though, right? Oh, you're my boy, blue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going to watch some football together tonight. Some Isn't that football. Right? Wait, so we're going to watch football. It's like John Madden for a second there. Boom. Boom. So take a break. When we return, we'll talk about the football with jeff nadu the big man on campus he will join us jamie says archie miller is the current rhode island basketball coach interesting oh eric should i read eric's joke he said this is eric talking it's funny he said this is what donnie kirkpatrick listens to while calling plays run to the left run to the right screen pass now (laughs) y'all everybody boo the team boo Tyler said Clip did call Joey a moron yesterday well he was acting like a moron but Uh, yesterday that doesn't surprise me but yesterday was not national kind day or do something kind day doesn't count I do want to expose Joey of the thing that he told me yesterday and then act like I was an idiot when he said that he had more faith in EC football getting to six wins this year, so five more wins for EC football this year, then the Panthers getting three wins on the year. Look, Joey's a great kid. That is stupid. Great kid. Hot take, Joey. Complete moron. Ugh. The worst. Jamie says, Clip, at least on Do Something Mean Day, you're the best. Jerry says, great respect only to Pirate Radio's live sponsors. Thank you, Jerry. Great respect. We'll take a break. Come back. Hour three. Back with you after these words.
The Side Bar is the place to be this football season in downtown Greenville. Get your team together for dinner on the patio or inside starting at 5.30 Tuesday through Saturday. Or take a break from work and enjoy the tastiest foods around for lunch Thursday through Saturday from 11.30 to 2.30. And on Sundays, enjoy a delicious fall brunch from 11 to 2. Make your reservation today by calling 751-0151. Follow The Side Bar on Facebook or on Instagram at sidebar.greenville for more details. Go Pirates! What's up there, Pirate Nation? Kyle Gaines here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Washington, North Carolina. This month, the month of October, excellent deals here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with 15% off MSRP on Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Jeep Grand Cherokee second row, and third row. That's right, folks. 15% off MSRP on those Jeep brands. So come check us out here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little, save a lot. Go Pirates! Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, this is State Farm agent Timothy Sawyer right here in Greenville. We can switch your auto and home insurance so you can start saving today. My team and I are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Timothy Sawyer State Farm, it's easy to switch and save. Just give us a call. 493-0002. Like a good neighbor. State Farm Take is control there. of your health today with ArcPoint Labs. Are you feeling tired, exhausted, or lethargic and not able to explain why? Fatigue can be caused by a number of things such as lack of sleep, illness, or chronic disease. The ArcPoint Lab Fatigue Panel is designed to help people understand what could be causing their fatigue. Get a simple blood test today by getting started at ArcPointLabs.com or call 629-6228. ArcPoint Labs. Accurate, reliable, confidential testing. Visit ArcPointLabs.com. This is Dr. Anthony Skellick from Orthopedics East and Sports Medicine Center. Our practice has been caring for the athletes of ECU and the residents of Eastern North Carolina for more than 30 35 years. Whether it's treatment for your sports injury or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedics East provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care. We also offer on-site physical therapy and MRI services as well as walk-in urgent care on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call us at 757-BONE or visit us online at orthoeast.com and go Pirates! Built strong and built to last. Kawasaki Mule Side-by-Sides are made to handle the toughest jobs. Whether you're putting in a hard day's work or trail riding on the weekend, Mule Side-by-Sides are built to get it all done with confidence. From the compact Mule SX to the full-size Mule Pro FXT, no matter the task, there's a perfect Mule Side-by-Side to help get the job done. We've stayed authentic to our roots for over 30 years with an uncompromised commitment to performance, capability, and durability. That commitment is captured in three words after building a reputation that doesn't waver. When it comes to the capable lineup of Kawasaki Mule side-by-sides, those three words are trusted, tried, and true. Whether you're looking for a compact or full-size Kawasaki Mule, visit our showroom at Ron Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11 north of the airport in Greenville, or online at ronayersmotorsports.com. On approved credit, see dealer for details. 360 Golf Carts is Pitt County's go-to shop for all things golf carts. They have easy go, club car, and utility carts to choose from. Whether it's for the beach, riding around the neighborhood, or working in the yard, 360 Golf Carts has a perfect ride for you. If you have issues with your current cart, take it by the 360 shop for an expert's diagnosis. From parts to sales to service, 360 has you covered. They will even deliver right to you. Visit Brian Harris today on Highway 43, just past D.H. Conley High School. 360 Golf Carts, Pirates Supporting Pirates. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back at the Appliances Superstore. They make buying appliances easy. It's just that simple. The Appliances Superstore has the largest selection of in-stock appliances in eastern North Carolina, which helps our customers save money every day. The Appliances Superstore offers a 12-month warranty on every appliance, 
Plus will deliver and set up your new appliances and remove your old ones. The Appliances Superstore off Highway 264 behind the new DMV or shop us online at appliancessuperstore.com. Remember, we make buying appliances easy at the Appliances Superstore. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. All right, back with you here. Thursday edition of Pirate Radio Live. D.H. Conley head football coach Nate Connor joining us later on this hour. Talked to Will Bland yesterday. It's Conley Rose, the rivalry renewed Friday night right here on Pirate Radio following the high school huddle with Morgan Ehlers. Uh, joining us now on the Halloween Express live line is the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau. Big man, how you doing this Thursday? I'm already close. How are you? Hey, doing good. The uh, it's football night for my commanders. They got the Bears at home tonight. And Washington put up a fight against Philly last week. Big man Sam Howe ties it to the Jahan Dotson or uh, gets them within one to Dotson. As time expires, they elect to kick the extra point. Eagles go on, win it in overtime. No moral victories, none of that stuff. Uh, but some signs of life from Washington. They come in tonight six-point favorites against the team that's lost 14 in a row, and I'm still nervous because I've seen this team my entire life. So, uh, any thoughts on Commanders, Bears tonight, total sitting in the mid-40s? Uh, I wouldn't say I have many many opinions. It's not a game I would wager on. Um, you have to understand, I mean, while the Bears are bad, um, listen, as a favorite, Washington is not good either. Uh, listen, I want Washington like they were last week. You, know, you want them in a favorite role, or a, sorry, an under yeah. role. I don't want to play points with them. You look at Washington, you know, they failed to cover as a favorite for the last five. In fact, over those last five games as a favorite, they have not won. Uh, they're zero and five straight up, I believe. Well, they beat Arizona week one, but they didn't cover as a favorite. Right. I... Yeah, it's, they just always you can slice it. They're not a team you should be laying points with. They've also yeah. not been good at home recently. They've had to cover them for the last five at home. This is a, a, a bear team that, you know, when, when you have a desperate group, um, you know, they're going to be willing to put out all the stops. You know, look, I don't know that they're not that bad offensively. It's really just been defensively. And, and the problem that Washington has is they're not very good on defense either. You know, I kind of, I'm generally not someone that likes overs in these types of games, but you know, the weather's pretty good around here. Uh, I'm not that far from, from Landover. I would maybe look to bet the over. I, I feel like this game is probably first to 28 wins. I would lean Bears and over. I think the Bears can actually move the ball. Uh, I just don't know if either team can stop each other. I would lean Bears and over. All right, Jeff Nadeau uh, joining us. A couple of college football games coming up tonight, and uh, if you like one of those, we can circle back to it, Jeff. But looking at the slate coming up Saturday, Red River rivalry and – uh, huge for Texas here because it looks like the rest of the way they're going to be probably double digit favorites if not close to it in every game remaining on their schedule so they win this one they uh, have a path to the college football playoff and you can say the same for Oklahoma they're undefeated ranked 12th in the country I think their schedule is a little more tougher than Texas but uh, either way huge game Texas is a five and a half point favorite total at 60 and a half uh, what do you think about the uh, the showdown coming up on Saturday you know I, I still think um, do I think these defenses are, are significantly better yes um, but then again I mean these offenses are both really good and I think once whenever you have a game like this we have you know plenty of good offensive players and look good defense I don't think we would class for these teams as great defensively I don't think they're better. I still think 16 and a half, though, is probably too low. I, I felt like this was like a 34 31 type of game. Um, when we look at kind of straight up, as you alluded to, Cliff, this is probably the last, I think, real test that Texas is going to have. So if you're someone that has, you know, a Texas future or maybe a, mm. a, a kind of Quinn Ewers Heisman or, or something like that, you know, this is the kind of game where, you know, if you can get past this one, now you're feeling pretty damn good. I mean, I'd have to think, you know, Texas probably doesn't lose again. And, they're probably in the final four. So it's a huge game. Um, there's not a lot of wiggle room here. I felt like this was probably a three or four point game either way. I think Texas will find a way, but look, I have a hard time betting the under. I mean, yeah. Texas, they've had no trouble moving the ball. I feel like Oklahoma probably gets into the mid to high 20s. Something tells me this finds a way to get over 60, 60 and a half. 
A uh, little bit different here, Jeff, but Alabama and Texas A&M have one loss. They are behind the eight ball, but uh, I've seen a lot of, hey, don't rule out Alabama yet. If they can go win on the road at A&M, uh, they've got enough ahead of them that if they can get by LSU, which does not look as tough as it did uh, earlier this year. If they get by Tennessee, which is not as tough as it was a year ago, their schedule is a little bit light as well. Now, this is not a classic Nick Saban Alabama team, so you might disagree with all that, but point being, it's another big game for these teams in College Station on Saturday. Bama, a uh, one-point favorite total in the 40s uh, in this game. 46 is what I'm seeing. Uh, Jeff, any thoughts on the Tide and the Aggies on Saturday? Yeah, it seems like Alabama, I, you know, I think just kind of straight out, I think they made a mistake, you know, going away from Milrow. I think you have to recognize you have to stick with your quarterback. Um, they, they took, you know, a shot somewhere else and, and struggled when Buckner went in against South Florida. Found a way to win that game, but, you know, going forward, you know, it's just about winning games now. you got to find a way to win, and they, they've kind of straightened and narrowed things uh, kind of straightforward. Now, I think this is a crazy number, Clip. I mean, keep in mind, since Johnny Manziel was at Texas A&M, A&M's only beaten Alabama one time. Uh, that was in 2021. It was a 41-38 game. It was back and forth. But Alabama has ran steadfast over this matchup, and many of them have not been close. Um, look, if you're going to give me just kind of a flip game where Alabama all they have to do is win the game, I'm interested. Especially with, look, I think Weigman is a better option than Max Johnson. I think Max Johnson played well, and I like A&M's defense, but I still think Alabama, as you alluded to, has the reason to think that as long as they can just keep winning games, their season's still alive. So I, I'm going to rock with Alabama just having to win the game. I thought this number was crazy. I'd put up a little bit higher. Jeff Nadeau joining us, Halloween Express live line. Uh, Jamie on YouTube asking about Kentucky, Georgia. I was with Georgia against South Carolina. I was with Georgia against Auburn. Uh, did not cover either one of those. It's 14 and a half, and it just feels like they kind of sleepwalk through the first half, wake up in the second half, Jeff. And then uh, last week, they finally said, you know what? We've got the best tight end and one of the best weapons in all of college football. Let's use them. Brock Bowers went nuts in the second half against Auburn. They got undefeated Kentucky this week. Georgia 14 and a half, total 47 and a half. Uh, I'm kind of... And Jamie's asking, do you do you take Georgia with the points here? I almost feel like if you get off and, and try to go the opposite way, this is when they blow a team out. But I don't know, man. I've lost with Georgia this year so far. What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, I think um, to, to answer his question and to just kind of talk about Georgia in general, I, look, I'm just going to say it. I don't think this is a great team. I think they're a good team. I, you know, I think they'll probably be there in the end. Um, but right now, I'm not interested, especially with a team in Kentucky who, what more does this team have to do to prove they belong? I mean, they've won every game. They, they've beaten every team by a wide margin. This is obviously a test, but they're getting two-plus touchdowns here. Look, if this were six-and-a-half, yeah, maybe I'd take Georgia. But right now, this is a Georgia team that does not look the same defensively. Keep, keep in mind, Clip, they're 58th in yards per rush allowed on defense. 58. That's not good. This is generally a team that's top three. Okay, They're 58. Um, they're allowing almost four yards to carry, which in their terms is not good. Kentucky, on the other hand, is a top six rush defense. This is a group that, look, I like Carson Beck. I don't love Carson Beck. Brock Bauer is a good player, but this is a good uh, Kentucky defense. We're still pricing Georgia like they're the team of old. And I'll be honest, Cliff, I had one loss last week. It was on Georgia. I thought the same way this individual thought with the same thing. Oh, they'll just blow them out. And they didn't. They struggled. I, this is not the same team to me. I think Kentucky is actually quite good. Um, I don't think Kentucky will win the game. But if you're going to give me two-plus touchdowns, I would lean with the Cats here. Jeff Nadeau joining us. Uh, Jeff, uh, what college games are you uh, keeping an eye on this uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? What, what's on your uh, card? Uh, I'll shoot with um, kind of one tonight and kind of one over the weekend. I'll start with the one tonight. Um, you know, I'm going to – I told you last week, Clip, I, I thought that Jacksonville State game was interesting with Zan <laughs> I'll tell you what was interesting following your Twitter during that game. You ended up covering, right? I did. <laughs> one of the most incredible covers of six and a half I've ever had. Yeah. Um, okay, um, 
So I took West or uh, Louisiana Tech tonight plus six against Western Kentucky. This is one of the first games I bet. Whenever I see a number early open at seven and bet down to six and a half to six, we even saw five and a half. Sharp money is on La Tech here. They like home dog. I like the home dog. When you look at the actual matchup here, La Tech is not going to blow you away very much. But defensively, they're pretty good against the pass. I think this is a game where West Kentucky maybe stubs their toe a little bit. I, it wouldn't surprise me if La Tech scores right out of the gate. They go down seven nothing. I think this game's kind of back and forth. I think La Tech puts a, kind of an inspired effort out here. What I find interesting in the market clip, when you look at um, the wagered dollars on the money line in this game, there are a lot of very sharp money line bets coming in on La Tech in this game. It tells me that this game's probably close. I think La Tech has a chance to win. I like their pass game. I think they match up pretty well here. As far as Saturday, I don't understand Toledo against UMass. Uh, look, UMass is better, but they're still a bottom seven, eight team in America. Toledo, this is too low of a number. Keep in mind, Cliff, last year this game was 55-10 Toledo. Toledo is the same, if not better, team. UMass is only slightly better. So you're telling me that this game is going to be 55-35? I, I don't see it. I still think 55-10, I, I don't think it's going to be that, but I think it'll probably be like 41 13. I think 19 and a half is too low. Uh, Toledo hasn't played well defensively. I think they get back tonight, uh, this weekend, and get back on the horse. I think they're significantly better than UMass. I'm going to lay the number. I think Toledo rolls. Man, Toledo, uh, a couple points away from being undefeated, lost the opener to Illinois. I've won four in a row since, and uh, Nadu says they roll coming up on uh, Saturday. Jeff, I uh, had another question from Jamie in the YouTube chat, um, and really I think he just wants you to talk about how great his head coach is uh, at Indianapolis. But he said, Eagles are undefeated, uh, playing close games, maybe not firing in all cylinders right now. Uh, Steichen, is that the uh, the coach for the Colts? He said, do you think the offense is uh, off a bit because of the new coordinator and you know how how important was Steichen to that compared to Sirianni? And again, I think he just wants you to say something nice about his Colts, but he, he brings up this question, so I'll let you answer it. Yeah, I, I think you know there obviously is you know I think a lot of people are just going to say, well, the Eagles are something wrong. But I mean, keep in mind this team's still top five in points per game. Um, you know, the, the offense, I think, took some time just because of the fact that you know they didn't play in the preseason. Is there a market difference between Steichen and Brian Johnson? Yeah. Um, but but I think the Eagles are still very talented. They have the best offensive line in the NFL. Their issues are not on the offensive side to me. Um, they have an issue defensively. Uh, their secondary has been a mess. It still is. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the L.A. Rams are going to move the ball against the Eagles. Um, the Eagles have all sorts of issues in the secondary right now. They had to go out and grab a Bradley Roby off the scrap heap uh, as a nickel corner. Um, they, they have some real issues with depth right now. The problem the Eagles have, Clip, is they've taken shots on undrafted players like Josh Job and guys like that, Eli Ricks. Uh, and, and, and look, when, when you get to a, a real game, those guys are not exactly people you want in the secondary. Um, they haven't gotten home with the pass rush. Hassan Reddick has been MIA, it seems like. I don't think the offense is the problem, but I will say I like Steichen, uh, but let's not act like uh, he's the uh, God and Savior either. I, I think the Eagles are fine. Awesome. Jeff Nadeau joining us anything uh, NFL wise before we let you go for uh, Sunday big man you got an eye on uh, well you know it's funny uh, uh, the whole world is on the, the Miami Dolphins uh, to blow out the uh, the New York Giants um, uh, like the whole like literally the whole world like every bet is on the Dolphins um, listen the Dolphins defense is still a group that can struggle are the Giants this bad I mean, they have to eventually like move the ball a little bit um, but yeah, uh, at any rate, I'll be interested to see what goes on there. I like the over in that Eagles game, too. Uh, I think the Rams will move the ball. They have some, and, and Cup should be back, I, I think. They do. Good stuff, man. Thank you for joining us today. Anything you want to plug uh, that you got going on? Uh, no, I, I can't. I do. It's just uh, keeping the ball rolling, you know, keeping track with everything going on. And College hoops coming up soon. Excited about that? A month away or so, yeah. Yeah. Big man, thank you. We'll uh, talk again soon, man. Thanks, Cliff. Jeff Nadeau joining us. Halloween Express Live Line. Halloween Express is your premier Halloween superstore. 
here in greenville right next to target adults kids get your masks decor and more at halloween express tell you what charlie let's go ahead and make somebody a winner right now and open up the uh, booty bag and uh, see what we got today give it away give it away give it away now give it away give it away give it away now Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Wild Power Radio, gonna be the author. What are we giving away on this Thursday? I don't even remember what I gave away yesterday. I was not here. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. Uh, we got a discussion right. between Shirley and Chandler. <laughs> How about a $50 gift card? To, uh, no, wait. Uh-oh. Yeah. Up. Oh. Yep. Herp. AJ's my, Chico's. Chico's. Tacos. Ta- I don't Shrimp even taco. know. Where is my Shrimp taco. Shrimp tacos. Courtesy Shrimp of Chico's. Chico's. I'm going to take caller five. Caller five. 317-1250. Halloween Express Live Line. Back with you after this. Here at Brown and Wood with Jeff Stein. Jeff, I've noticed a lot of great GMC pickup trucks on the lot. Yes, sir. We have 2500s and 1500s in stock and the all-new 3.0 Duramax diesel. We earn 30 extra trucks on allocation. So go online, brownandwood.com, or stop in, build your truck. We'll get it coming for you. Brown and Wood, voted number one by the customer in Greenville. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. There's nothing more important than protecting your family. Fire ants can cause painful allergic reactions and even death. Protect your loved ones at home where you should feel the safest. Visit PestTechAgreenville.com to learn of our once-a-year treatment to guarantee you stay fire ant free. Tested and proven effective by your Eastern North Carolina exterminating professionals at PestTech of Greenville. Mention the crying baby for an extra 10% off. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. Stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work, down on Main Street is the perfect spot for dinner and a drink on the patio. Join down on Main Street every Wednesday for half price wings from four to close. Down on Main Street on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Go Pirates! <laughs> We're here for the booty. RJ? Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. <laughs> We're going play <laughs> Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. With U.S. Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. So you don't need that robot daughter you built to get a fourth line for family plan pricing. Oh, Robe Elizabeth? She's not going to like that. The robots will prevail. Oh, boy. Get the low rate of $19.99 per line. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Get one, two, or three lines for $19.99 per line right now at Atlantic Wireless, your U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Bellhaven, Snow Hill, and three locations in Greenville. Are you ready to fall into beauty? Mark your calendar for October 2nd through the 6th to take advantage of the savings on all of Beauty Bar Medi Spa services and products. Don't wait for the sale. Save time and money by scheduling your free consultation now. You can trust the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medi Spa for amazing and natural looking results. Schedule your free consultation today and mark your calendar to fall into beauty October 2nd through the 6th. BeautyBarMediSpa.com, Greenville. This is John Gavigan with the Gavigan Agency. Our top priority is doing what is best for our members. Whether you are buying a new vehicle, a new home, protecting your family with life insurance, or filing a claim, our agency will be there every step of the way. Our goal is to become a trusted advisor for you and your family for all of your personal and commercial insurance needs. Give us a call in Greenville at 756-1400 for a car, home, business, or life insurance quote today. And give us the opportunity to show you the benefits of doing business with someone. Someone who cares. 
The Angus Grill is your premier spot for the best burgers, cheesesteaks, and brisket sandwiches around. Join us for our unmatched variety of burger combinations. From the mushroom bacon Swiss burger to the jalapeno popper burger to the original Angus Classic. Pair that burger with our amazing onion rings, tots, fries, or sweet potato fries. Angus Grill, with four amazing locations in eastern North Carolina, including Winterville near Pitt Community College, on Jarvis Street in Uptown Greenville, and on Statensburg Road near the hospital. It's the best burger around, guaranteed. This is Brian Bailey, host of The Brian Bailey Show, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. Sunday, boy, Sunday. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Well, keep it local and print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at University Sportswear ENC.com, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. And congratulations to Blake Henderson of Greenville, picked up a shrimp taco lunch courtesy of Chico's. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, back with you on a Thursday edition of Pirate Radio Live coming up Friday, 6 o'clock, the high school huddle with Morgan Ayler. So get you ready for the weekend action and a lot of rivalry games coming up, including Conley Rose. We talked to Will Bland yesterday, got the Rose side of things. Let's talk now to Nate Connor, D.H. Conley head football coach, who joins us on the Halloween Express live line to talk Conley Rose. Nate, how you doing today, man? Hey, doing great, Clip. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. Yes, sir. I appreciate you joining us today and looking forward to uh, another edition of Conley Rose coming up on a Friday night. And we talked to Will Bland on the show yesterday. His team got off uh, to a, a tough start of the season with a tough schedule, but they have turned it around and won a couple in a row. And uh, you guys picked up a big win over Northside Jacksonville before falling to Havelock. So t- both teams playing pretty well heading into this game despite some losses this season. Kind of weird, Nate, to see both teams with a losing record heading into this game. You don't see that a lot for uh, Conley Rose. Yeah, I think you're, you're finding two teams that have got a lot of new players figuring out who they are, who have challenged themselves in the uh, non-conference schedule. And uh, and then this conference is so wide open. You got to play a different team every week that's capable of beating you. They played Jacksonville early on, and then they got two conference wins. Um, and then you know we played Northside and, and got a good big win there. But then that went down and played played well. I felt and at a havelock and just came couldn't pull out the win. Uh, but I think they have they have definitely tested who they are and found out some things. And I think they have a very good football team that that is uh, that's going to come play tomorrow night. How about your side, Nate? Uh, what have you you gotten better at as the year has gone on, and uh, and what are you confident in as you head into Friday night with your team? Yeah, I, I feel we have done the same thing. I feel we played those games to figure out that stuff, and uh, we obviously haven't had the success on the scoreboard or in the win column that we want, but I think this team has gotten better each week. They've done a wonderful job of learning from these. They, they've come back with great attitudes their desire to win, their willingness to work has not changed, and I think that's why we continue to get better. Um, I'm very proud of that, and we've got to come out and, and, and show that improvement. We've got to improve some of those areas uh, in the game and, and play really hard against a very capable, really good team that's going to be kind of playing the same way, and I think we're capable of doing it. That's what makes us one of fun one. Nate Connor joining us. D.H. Conley, J.H. Rose coming up Friday night right here on Pirate Radio. Nate, want to talk about some of your personnel, but uh, I do want to ask you about Isaiah Crumpler and how has he been able to, to kind of handle his personal success and, and the name and all of that and, you know, remain humble and remain a good player and continue to get better. How about his season so far this year? Well, you hit it right there. Incredible person, incredible head on his shoulders, just awesome character as what's continued to let him progress, not get caught up in other things and let that slow him down. And he has constantly improved, even though some numbers might not be some things they've always been. I think he's improved tremendously. He's playing his best football he's played in his career, um, and he's just getting better. That's what's exciting going forward in his future as he continues his football career outside of here. But he's doing a wonderful job, just such a leader on our team. 
gives us so much on both sides of the football, and uh, you just can't stand up wonderful things about them. Who are some other guys you're, uh, that need to have big games on Friday night, Nate, for you to pull this uh, out over at J.H. Rose? Who are some other guys you're counting on? You know, I'm excited about our quarterback. Uh, he was a sophomore, so Mari Cabell has gotten better each week. Um, and he has, he has done a really nice job. This is every time you get to play in one of these, there's, there's a lot of fun and I'm excited to see how he handles that moment. And obviously we got to have great offensive line play to allow him to play and get the ball out to Isaiah and other guys, other playmakers on our team on the defensive side of the football. I want to see our defensive line be disruptive. I think they have a very good offensive line that, that does well protecting things for them. We've got to find ways to, uh, to pressure their quarterback. Um, but they're very athletic there. And, uh, so. I think we we just got to do that, and I think there's there's a lot of names: Patrick Woodall in coverage, and, and uh, Gabe Kasnov in the run game at linebacker, and, and, and in coverage, and different guys. Caleb Bess on the defensive line being disruptive out there. Elijah Ayers, Latroy Latroy Hayes, and uh, you go down the list. Just we've got to play well as a team on both sides of the football because it stress you on both sides. Nate Connor joining us on the Halloween Express live line. Nate, you, you touched on it a little bit there. What is your scouting report on Rose? What do they do well that, that concerns you? I think they have a very complete team. Uh, you know, they have five. They're very big up front on the offensive line. They have three receivers that, that are above 6'3", six, 6'3", uh, six, or above, that can are athletic and can run. Uh, and then they have another guy that's in a slot that's very athletic, and they have guys that can just rotate in. A quarterback... Uh, they've had two guys that have played all year. They've kind of figured that out a little bit, I think, and a very dynamic running athlete, so you have to factor in quarterback run, but also can throw it to any of those guys in, in a running game. So very complete group up there. I don't see a lot of holes. Um, and then defense, they're disruptive on the D-line. Linebackers that are active um, can, can, can bring pressure, can play some coverage. They have an outside linebacker that kind of jumps out at you. He's just all over the place, it seems, and athletic on the back end that, can play some man coverage and I just there's not a lot of holes and they have depth um they just had the games have not necessarily gone in their favor in some ways but it's not like teams have just blown them out it's been easy they have a good football team the rivalry will renew coming up on Friday night right here on Power Radio. D.H. Conley and J.H. Rose. Will Bland said yesterday, Coach, that uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the coaching staffs actually get along and everything like that. And uh, it's, I don't want to hear that. I want y'all to hate each other. Uh, but, no, I mean, I know there's a, a mutual respect there. Go ahead, Nate. I can I can't stand the guy. I don't know what he's talking about. There you go. That's what I want to hear. All right. Let's fire it up. Uh, no, I know you guys uh, really respect each other. And, yeah. uh, and and it's just so great for high school football to have the crowds that, that always come with the Conley Rose matchup. And and uh, and people in the community can talk a little junk, have fun with it. it. It's what it's all about. It makes it special. It makes a lot of fun. It makes this week fun. Uh, when you get to look at Troy Dreyfus across there in, in a green shirt, and uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, but you know, you got a good buddy there too, and it's 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 good for our community. It's it's special to be a part of. Yeah, Troy jumped ship. I'm still sticking with the Vikings, though, uh, Coach. Yeah, I, pre- I know, I know where you stand. <laughs> but, you know, all right. Going to be uh, going to be a lot of fun Friday night. You can hear it right here on Pirate Radio, or you can head out there and uh, and see if you can get you. I, I guess Nate, one of the standing room only spots. It's going to be a lot of folks there. It's always a great atmosphere. Our students are always a lot of fun. They have great students out there. It's fun to warm ups because it's already packing in there, and it'll uh, it'll be fun. And then on Saturday, uh, Coach, hopefully you can enjoy some Braves baseball and uh, and maybe another run to the World Series this year. Uh, they they got a, a just a tremendous regular season. I'm kind of nervous about what they'll do in the postseason now, though. Yeah, I, I, that's always a fear, right? Can they can they back it up? But let's just get through the divisional round and uh, stay healthy. I think they've got an exciting exciting team. It's pretty special. Yes, sir. Looking forward to that this weekend. Looking forward to Conley Rose coming up on Friday night. Nate, uh, final key or two for you guys. What do you need to do to be successful on Friday night? I think the key for our football team on, on both sides of football, when we get in the red zone on offense, we've got to we got to, uh, we got to score and capitalize. Whether it's field goals or touchdowns, we've got to get some points. I've got to do a good job with that. Um, and then on defense, we've got to, when we get in third and long situations, on third down, whatever it may be, We've got to win third downs. I think if we can get them off the field and we can get on the field and move the football, uh, maybe an explosive play or two, but get down there and punch it in for some type of point, uh, we, we can have some success. Nate Connor joining us. Nate, appreciate it. Good luck this weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you again down the road. Thanks a lot, Clip. Always a pleasure, and go Vikings. 
Nate Connor joining us, Halloween Express Live Line, D.H. Conley and J.H. Rose coming up on Friday night. Our buddy Randolph checking in on the chat. He is uh, having some adult beverages. Drink them up, Randolph. Enjoy. And uh, hopefully the Commanders will get a win tonight. I know you want to see that, right, as a Cowboys fan. Thursday night football, Amazon Prime, Al Michaels and Herbie. I didn't watch. Uh, remember, I had my wallet issue. The issue being, I uh, pumped some gas and I uh, was wearing my pirate radio shorts that didn't have pockets. Oh, and do I? Left my wallet on oh, my car and yeah. drove off and saw it exploding uh, behind me on the road. <laughs> so tough. My I had to get a new card, obviously, and my Amazon. I uh, I went to go watch the game last week and I didn't have Amazon because. <laughs> because <laughs> i got a new card number and at that point i was like it was already in the first quarter i was like yeah the lines are probably gonna win this game i didn't even get so i had to go uh re-up on my amazon just to watch this awesome bears commanders game tonight i mean i wonder how many people canceled amazon today i bet there wasn't a lot of subscribers today it was more of a cancel day seeing this game tonight not an attractive matchup Hey, I'm just excited that your team's playing tonight, and I'm excited that I will potentially be watching the first half with you coming up tonight at 8. Start Sid. I've had uh, Dotson out of the lineup. Oh, you got any fantasy questions? You can ask me. 3-1. Three and one. Three and one, The 3-1 and one kid over here. <laughs> All right, Chandler. Pick two of these guys to start. Michael Thomas, Tank Dale, Jahan Dotson. Dotson tonight against DeBears, Dell at Atlanta, Thomas at New England. Start two. Uh, I would probably go Dotson versus the Bears, and I'll probably go man. Uh, so Dell had been on my bench all year, killing it. Put him in last week, and he uh, stunk. Man, and Slant Boy's been in my lineup all year. He's been pretty. I feel like consistent, consistently not great. Eight, nine, eight, seven. This isn't a non PPR or it's a half point PPR league. I think Tank Dale bounces back this week. All right. I have Dodson and Dale in right now. Stick with them. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I have any more. Oh, I do. I know I do in this one because Cortland Sutton has been scoring touchdowns on my bench quite a bit. I've got, let's see, Gabe Davis, DeAndre Hopkins. Cortland Sutton. Should I just keep going with Gabe and D Hop? Or do I throw Sutton in? Uh go Sutton. Ride the hot hand. Over who? Hopkins or Gabe Davis? Gabe Davis. Hmm. All right. You're the three and one kid, right? Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, listen to me. Listen to me. Hmm, let's see if I have any start you got sits. Any, you got any start sits mm, here on a see. Thursday? Get those lineups right for tonight? Actually, I think I still have Washington's defense. Should I put Antonio Gibson in? No, <laughs> you should not. In fact, why is he on your team? He's on my bench. Why is he on your team was my question. I know. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to have a little commander flavor. <laughs> <laughs> a little commander flavor, if you know what I mean. Um... Jamie, you're saying Sutton and Davis take out D-Hop? Just to clarify. Wow, the projected score. Don't look at projected scores. I know, but just. What do you got? I have 103.12. My opponent has. my favorite radio station. (laughs) And my opponent has 103.04. Can I get in y'all's league? Wow. Some low point totals. This is a non-PPR league though, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's understandable uh let's see is there a defense i can pick up this weekend would you rather play washington's defense tonight or atlanta's defense against houston i would go oh atlanta oh no i'd probably go bears defense tonight i got washington's defense washington's defense tonight or the falcons against houston was the question um (laughs) Wait, who do you have? Say it again. My God. Take a break, Charlie. I, 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 I want to get this right. No. I, I want to get this right. I'm the, I'm the 3-1 kid. Get out of here. I need to get this right. What did you say? Let's, let's, I'm let's just going to skip that one. All right. Washington's defense tonight or the Broncos against the Jets? Mm. 
Washington's defense tonight. All right. Let's get some sacks. Let's get some turnovers. Let's go, baby. I like how you turn into a Washington fan just for me. That's very nice. That is your do something nice of the day. You are a good sports friend, Chandler. I'll say that. Like it's tough for me to root for other teams. Like I want, I want to see you happy. But like you, you jump on board pretty quick with the Braves, with Washington. You know, yeah, I appreciate that. I just love to live the happiness through you. It makes me happy to see you happy. I used to be like that back in like college. Me and my buddies used to go out on Sundays to watch football. And my my roommate was a Titan, is still a Titans fan, and I would like root for them and get hyped with him, and he never did the same for me. <laughs> really? Well, I, I feel like I returned that favor to no, you for you the do. Panthers. No, you do. I've heard you clapping before, and he ne- he didn't do it a lot, but I remember the times where he would do it, and it would make me so happy. But he just didn't do it a lot. <laughs> I tried to do it all. You get a first down. Hey, move the chains. There mm-hmm, you go. Mm-hmm, move the chains. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, Sack! Hey! Sack! I'm like, hell, hell yeah. And he just would not return the favor. Mm-mm, no! What a turd. I know. Hate that guy. All right, let's take a break. When we return, more to go. Hour three, Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after these words. Once you get Jersey Mike's catering with 12 subs for any event, I'll tell you, there's no going back to other catering. That would be like going back to using Morse code. Welcome to Jersey Mike's. Okay, here we go. A pickle slice wrapped in a napkin? Oh, wait, try this. A brownie with extra olive oil? Whoops, I mixed up my dots and dashes. Here. 1,800 catering boxes coming right up. Uh Uh-oh. Nope. There's no going back once you get catering at Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Hey, y'all, this is Lisa with Halloween Express, and the countdown to Halloween has officially started. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary of being Greenville's premier Halloween superstore. Halloween Express has all the Halloween fun from adults to kids. We got you covered with the largest selection of masks, decor, and more. Halloween Express is easy to find right next to Target. Come by Halloween Express today and let our friendly staff help you answer the number one Halloween question. What are you going to be? Halloween Express. Get ready for tailgate season at Shimmer Boutique. Locally owned and operated, Shimmer has the best selection of game day apparel and accessories for ladies. And gentlemen, Shimmer has a newly restocked wide selection of t-shirts with brands like Local Boy, Old South, Southern Fried Cotton, and the newest edition, Pimp Shrimp. Shimmer has everything you need this fall. They carry the largest selections of Yetis and Hey Dudes and more. Be ready for game day and every day at Shimmer Boutique with locations in Greenville, Winterville, and Jacksonville. Go Pirates! Here with Christy Conway today from ENC Pirate Realty. And you guys are more than real estate agents. That's right. We also provide property management services for rental properties. We have found that rental property owners have difficulty managing their rental properties effectively. We can provide full service property management to those owners to include advertising their homes for rent, tenant screening, rent collections, and maintenance coordination. If you have real estate or property management questions, contact us at encpiratrealty.com. Go Pirates! Defense! Defense! Uh, what are you doing? You haven't heard? Carolina Hardscapes has the best defense in Pitt County. And you know defense wins championships. What? No, no, no. They have the best fence company in Pitt County. Wait, they do fencing now? That's right. Just give them a call at 364-1201 and they'll get the job done right. And don't forget, they still do patios, pools, and mulch. Wow, now that's a championship caliber company. Carolina Hardscapes. Enjoy the outdoors. Pizza, subs, slice, ice. Jenny, what are you doing? Just letting the Pirate Nation know that Cuchinella's is now open in downtown Greenville, across from Subdogs. Did you know Cuchinella's is open every day with $6 lunch specials, slices all day, beer, wine, and their famous homemade gelato? Plus, if you're busy, use DoorDash for Cuchinella's delivery, and Cuchinella's is open late night, Friday, and Saturday. Cuchinella's on Fifth Street in downtown Greenville. Go Pirates! 
Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. The Rick House is Eastern North Carolina's premier restaurant and bourbon authority. Jefferson's, Basil Hayden, Woodford Reserve, and a Midwinter Night's Dram are just a few of the incredible bourbon options. The Rick House features the very best steaks and fresh, made-from-scratch pastas. The Rick House can host your corporate event or special parties in the 3,000-square-foot banquet hall. Join the Rick House for Sunday brunch from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and for the wine tastings on the last Friday of every month. The Rick House. Pirate Radio. I listen to you guys all the time, especially when it's coming up to game week with the Pirates, and I assure you I'll be listening to Pirate Radio at some point during the fall this year. The voice of the Pirate Nation. It's good to see you again. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tavern is your favorite place in downtown Greenville for lunch, dinner, or drinks with friends. Fifth Street serves lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Plus, they have brunch starting at 1030 on Saturdays and Sundays. Follow Fifth Street on Instagram for the latest events and specials. Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room right beside the State Theater in downtown Greenville. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All righty. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Let's hear more from Mike Houston, Donnie Kirkpatrick, and Blake Carroll. So I asked the question about, you know, what are you doing to address the drops? And uh, after he answered that and said, you know, if guys aren't catching the ball, they're going to stop getting the ball. One guy that is catching the ball is Chase Sowell and uh, asked, is he a guy that you're going to look to target more due to his solid play? Had a great contested catch on the two-point conversion. Uh, Cut five, Shirley. Uh, Mike Houston. Well, you know, the thing that I guess that nobody's noticed is the last three games he's played better and better and gotten more and more involved each week. So, He's definitely trending upward now. The thing I challenged him with is now you got to you got to stack another game, another positive game on top of that. You know, if he can continue to improve on his performance, uh, then obviously uh, that's good for us. But I just I think that kid's got a very high ceiling. All right, cut six from Mike Houston. Uh, he was asked how you keep uh, the team away from outside noise and negativity because there is a lot of that. We hear it on the fifth quarter. We see it on the comments. Uh, he wants to keep his team away from that stuff, and uh, here's what he said. Cut six. Well, I'll be honest. I really don't look at a whole lot and really don't care. I mean, uh, if I'm worried about what anybody outside this building thinks, then I don't need to be doing this job. Uh, my internal expectations are much higher than anybody else's around here. So, uh, you know, I've got enough pressure on myself from just me. Uh, now, the kids... Uh, we've talked about it a lot. We talked about it this summer. We talked about it during preseason camp. I talk about it, you know, every year because, you know, if if we if we win and we play well and they're looking at anything that anybody's saying out there, uh, you know, that's going to they're going to have an inflated ego for themselves and you know it's it's going to be too much for them because they can't handle that much patting on the back. And the same thing for the negativity. I mean, if if you're reading all that stuff and you're listening to people that have no clue what they're talking about. And you're actually valuing their opinion. It's not going to help you any. You know, you got to make sure that you keep yourself focused on listening to people that actually know, you know, what's going on and, and what reality is. Um, so, I just you can't get caught up in that stuff. And that's it. Doesn't matter. It's, I'm not talking about just ECU. It doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, because you got stuff like that at every every school across the country. Uh, you got to focus on. What you're doing day to day, you got to focus on trying to be the best version of you you can be every day. You got to ver- focus on improving every single day. But uh, I can promise you this: there's a lot of people around here that care a lot about how the Pirates play and have a lot of pride in how the Pirates play, and that's our focus right now. 
There is Mike Houston. Uh, I asked uh, Blake Harrell about, I always talk about this, worry about this, you know, the kind of losing the team and, and the team losing focus when you start getting losses and you have your preseason goals and some of those goals aren't attainable. You've still got attainable goals this year. Make a bowl game. You still can win the conference. It's all still out there. But at one and four, it's normal to get discouraged, get your head down. I asked uh, Coach Harrell, cut four, Shirley, has he had to do anything extra on the mental side, making sure that the players keep their heads in it uh, out at practice and throughout the week? We've got great young men, you know, and, and I've been telling them this all along. Like, our young men are a lot of fun to be around. They, they come, and I, I think I told you guys this in the preseason, they come to work every day. They come hungry. Yes, sir, no, sir. What, how can I be better? What can I do better? You know, how can I help my football team? Um, I don't sense any eye guys. I don't sense any guys that are selfish defensively. Uh, I think there's frustration. We're all frustrated. Um, you know, players, coaches, fans, we're all frustrated, okay? Um, and we're all, like, on, on edge. How, how can we do get it fixed, you know? And we got to keep working to get that thing fixed. But I don't, I don't sense, like, hey, we got guys that just totally – want to go with their own way they're all pulling in the same direction we got to continue to do that and you know i said i always tell them it takes everybody and it takes all of us doing it together and you know if we try to do it individually we're not going anywhere but we all got to stay together um and, and that's you know that's coaches that's players that's our community that's our program that's our university we all got to stay together to get this thing done and, and we all got to pull in for each other and pull in the same direction um, so that we can be successful. And, and it's so much sweeter when we do that together and we get there. And, we, and one day we will. One day. And we hope that day soon. All right, there is Blake Carroll keeping everybody uh, rallied around one another and pushing forward. And, and that defensive side of the ball has uh, played well enough to win in uh, a lot of games this year. All right, Donnie Kirkpatrick uh, was asked, uh, did he think there would be this many struggles of course, they lost a lot of players on offense last year. They were not going to have the same numbers as last year. I think everybody expected that. Uh, but how about struggling to this degree? Donnie was asked about that. Well, I told my wife to hold on. I told her to, you know, bar the windows up a little bit. That, you know, we were coming off a pretty good year offensively. And, and yet, I didn't really think we, we got a lot of uh, recognition for how good a year it was. You know what I'm saying? I was a little shocked by how everybody wasn't really – you know, understanding how good we were on offense. You know, we scored 102 points in the last two games. You know what I'm saying? That didn't happen a lot. You know what I'm saying? We, we had a lot of good stuff, and I knew we were not going to be explosive like that. There was no way we would be that. But now you're a competitor. You think, well, we can get this done. You know, they're, they're, they had good attitudes. There, there was some good young players, you know. Uh, so I thought we'd be better. You know, I didn't – you know, you never can – Anticipate. You never want to think that negative, I don't think, of what it's been. But, yeah, I knew that uh, we would have to find a way to win some tight games. And, you know, we've been in every game except the first game. Uh, you know, we, we didn't – maybe in Michigan in the second half we weren't in it. But the other games we've had the lead, you know, or it had been tied late in the game. So they were winnable games. And a couple plays here, a couple plays there, you're probably – thinking you're better than you really are because you're, you're only a couple plays better than, than, than what we are. So, yeah, I don't. that's kind of where it's at with that, I think. All right, Donnie was also uh, talked about the bye week and the improvements they want to make offensively. Uh, this is cut one, Charlie. You know, it's an unusual bye week in that it's not a full two weeks. We play on Thursday, so it's in that little bit of, you know, the coaches get crazy about what day is this, and, you know, we're already talking about Sunday being Tuesday, and all that stuff drives you crazy. But we have, uh, we came in Sunday, and we spent all day Sunday just on us. We didn't do anything with SMU. I mean, you know, we always watch the tape and do that, but then usually we have to dive into SMU. We go out and have a little, you know, quick workout. And then all night we're, we're on SMU. We didn't do that. We, we went back and watched and talked about, you know, what are we good at? What are we not good at? What do we need to improve at? You know, what's our personnel? What should we be doing differently? You know, just all that stuff all Sunday. And then Monday we did start to get in on SMU a little bit. But every day we've taken a little bit of the corrections because we've had a little bit more time. We haven't just spent the whole time on SMU. I think you get stale if you do two straight weeks. I think the players get bored with it. You know, like that. So you can't just, yeah, you can't, you know, you can't just throw it all away. We don't really think we need to throw it all away. We just think we think we need to just play maybe with more confidence offensively. You know, we're just kind of, uh, 
just not making the play we need to make. Now, we've, we've improved a lot. Uh, obviously, the success rate's not there. I mean, and that's, it's a win business, so we all get that. But, you know, it was really our best game offensively from top to bottom. We controlled the game. That's what's so disappointing is that, you know, time of possession, we had the game totally in control. Our penalties were down. They're still a little high. You know, one turnover. It was a costly turnover. We were down there ready to score. It was a turnover right after a penalty when we had it, you know, first down on the 18-yard line. Uh, so that, but there was a lot of things like that. We, we threw the ball better. We, we still dropped too many, but we, we did make some plays. So it's, it's just really it's just everything we're trying to improve on and get some confidence. So what I talked to the offense about this week was we met as a group, which we don't do a lot, but we just said, okay, good time to just start over. You know what I'm saying? I know that you know the world. You really can't do that, but you can control that mentally. We just said we're going to wipe the slate clean. Some guys probably think they should be playing more than other guys because you're not winning. Well, that's you know that that's natural. Everybody's getting a chance this week. We do have some players that we've rested a little bit that have played a lot of snaps that are banged up. So we've held them. We've put other guys in there. Uh, it actually probably helped the practices be a little more spirited because there were some guys in there really trying you know, uh, to, to earn, you know, some respect and a job or maybe some play in time. Because, you know, a Tuesday practice on an open week, you know, when you're that age, you can question, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? You know, we don't have a game this week, you know, so we're, we're practicing, you know. But uh, it's kind of helped those – because we've had two good practices and um, we're just trying to get some confidence, you know. How do you get confidence? Well, you're, you're prepared, you know. So we're just trying to get the guys to prepare harder and – Put it together and just just let it go and not worry about messing up as much. You know, I think I think they really are doing that right now a little bit. All right, Donnie Kirkpatrick from Wednesday. Uh, also, Blake Harrell and Mike Houston there. More on that coming up Friday on Pirate Radio Live. But we got to take a break, come back, and get ready to wrap things up here on a Thursday edition of the show. We'll be back with you after this. What's up there, Pirate Nation? Kyle Gaines here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Washington, North Carolina. This month, the month of October, excellent deals here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with 15% off MSRP on Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Jeep Grand Cherokee second row, and third row. That's right, folks. 15% off MSRP on those Jeep brands. So come check us out here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little, save a lot. Go Pirates. Save a load on a new John Deere compact utility tractor and loader from Quality Equipment. It's never been easier to get the best brand on the market at an unbeatable cash price or with great financing at our lowest ever monthly payment. Now is the time to get that tractor package you've been dreaming of to get your next job done right. Stop by one of our 36 locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia or visit us online at qualityequip.com. Here's the deal. When you combine State Farm Home and Auto Insurance, you can save an average of $889 per year. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Timothy Sawyer, and I'm ready to help you combine your home and auto and save in Greenville, North Carolina. Call 493-0002 today to get started on your personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Nothing freshens up a space like a new coat of paint. And no one east of Raleigh makes painting easier than CertiPro. Residential or commercial, inside and outside, CertiPro is your dependable painting experts. CertiPro's concern is about getting your painting done right and making sure you're satisfied. Whether you have a large or small job, professional quality is what you will get. Let us come to your home or business and give you a free quote. CertiPro takes all the worry away from your painting project. Go to CertiPro.com and click on Clayton Greenville. That's C-E-R-T-A-P-R-O. CertiPro. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Good news, business travelers. PGV and American Airlines has added a new early morning flight available now. Book today at aa.com and be on time for that connection in Charlotte. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American flights perfect for your next trip. PGV, where the pirates fly. Chico! <laughs> 
Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville is the perfect place to get all your amigos together for some Mexican food, fun, and football. Chico's has been a game day tradition for Pirate football fans since 1983. Whether the game is home or away, make it a Chico's day for some great specials and the best chips and salsa in town. Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville and online at chicosrestaurant.com. Go Pirates! Hey Pirate Nation, this is Parker Bird, number 16 for your ECU Pirates. I've just launched a new t-shirt on piratewear.com that represents many of my dreams. I committed to play baseball for ECU as a ninth grader in high school. I worked hard many days for the thought of seeing my name at number 16 on the back of a Pirates jersey. On July 23rd, 2022, I was in a boating accident that resulted in me losing my right lower leg. After getting out of the hospital, I am still striving to become the first division Vision 1 baseball player to play with a prosthetic leg. Still I Rise has become my mantra and the way I approach each and every day and how I approach my comeback. As I watched my teammates last year get the I Love You sign to the bullpen as they ran the bases falling a home run, I used this gesture on my shirt to show my love to Pirate Nation. Purchase your Still I Rise shirt today at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! Hi, this is Morgan Aylers, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. It was a uh, slow day for the Dow. It was down nine points, finished out the day at 33,119. The NASDAQ uh, slipped 16 points and finished at 13,219. The S&P was down five at 4,258. That's your Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Report for a personal look into investing. Call Wells Fargo Advisors today at 756-6900 in Greenville. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC, member SIPC. Now back to the show. All right, wrapping it up. Chandler, we were talking a little Hornets hoops before we went on. Do you want to say uh, what you said on the air? Sure. I fully support the Hornets. Okay, there you go. (laughs) Uh, Thank you for tuning in on this Thursday. We'll see you Friday, 3 o'clock, for a Football Friday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Coming up at 3 o'clock, Shirley Rhodes, Chon Mann. And myself will be with you with the Friday football crew. We will talk to you then. Jeff Charles, take us home. Have a great night, Eastern Carolina. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 and 